Your mind is being altered by stoned ape theories with Hubo, Kapowski, and Broseph Smith. A podcast where we alter our perception of reality and discuss the meaning of life on this pale blue dot. My state, my Stoned Ape Theories, episode 87. We out here. Before we get too far into it, go check out patreon.com slash Stoned Ape Theories podcast. It's the best way to support do us. It. We got bonus content. We got tons of bonus content on there. We do about 30 minutes after every couple episodes here and there, and they are stored over there. We also have a Discord. Check it out. You can get access to it through that. We also have merchandise. I'm wearing the hoodie today. This is my signature hoodie. We sell it on our store, thecollaboratory.myshopify.com. Go check it the fuck out. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the links in the description. See everything else we got going on. What do you call that? What do you call that guy? What's that character? What's the descriptor on that? Usually on on my PC, it's it's saved as smiley face logo. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it looks like Kirby, like bubble gum. It's never pink. had. It's never well because the color hasn't always stayed the same either. Yeah. Like when I first made this branding and started using it it was just black and white because for a while i was doing just black and white like simple bold yeah. illustration and then got way more colorful with it and then the colors have just evolved and this just happens to be my favorite color nice that's just evolved from there but then the real one i want to get is the one that i drew of this dude smoking a joint with the green background yeah that, that i use for most of my profile pictures hell yeah that sweatshirt next Fuck yeah. So what the fuck's been going on this week, huh? Well, can we address immediately right off the bat the fucking... Oh, yeah. The, the fucking... Elephant in the room. The elephantitis the of the testicle up I here. I the same route with that. I was about to say elephantitis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking buzz balls. I feel like they had a missed opportunity here because they called it the biggie. Yeah. The, the biggie. Yeah. Where I feel like they had an opportunity to call it big balls. Right, buzz balls, big balls, and you were saying this is a a, a woman owned, a yeah, female owned. That's right there. That's so right here. If you take if you take a gander at this thing, this thing's got some weight to it. But if you take a gander on the side there, nice. it says women owned, owned by women, which is probably why they missed the giant opportunity for a. But big you ball know thing. they like to fuck. They're like out here with this straight up innuendos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you were saying you've They're never had a buzz ball, no, of any kind. No, I was a garbage person when I was younger, and I, I like moved past that stage in my life. By the time Buzz like, Balls came <laughs> yeah. out, yeah, but you know what? I've, I've, um, yeah, I was right at garbage human when Buzz Balls came out, so nice. I, I ran the gauntlet a couple times. They it ebbs and flows. Yeah, it ebbs and flows. The garbage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like it's only right to do a taste test on the podcast, and I feel like yeah. you'll see immediately yeah. why. All right. And respect well, Women's History open. Month. Yeah, it is Women's History yep. Month. So uh, we're, we're going to review products from women-owned companies all That's all crazy. Month. They even give you the fucking topper as if it's like a, a fucking... Uh, Hard alcohol. If, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the word for it. Yeah. <laughs> so it yeah, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just pop that some bitch right off of there. Yeah. Get rid of that. And just two hand this fucker. Yeah, like what's the the this is not a good design. Like as far as designs go, like that's gonna get spilled at a party immediately. This shit is a mana potion, bro. He's actually drinking a mana potion. Yeah, right. (laughs) Greater mana potion. (laughs) Of life, yeah. Yeah. Of life, yeah, great. Yep. Well, it's actually not bad. I'm not gonna lie. The, I'm, but but I'm a, I'm a sucker for margaritas, so I'm gonna hit this one more time and pass it. Nice. <laughs> now you are not partaking. I'm not partaking. No, I do not. You gotta but hit our, this. Our, our producer, our producer, most definitely. It was your well, idea. Well, yeah. Come put these balls in your mouth. It was his idea. Not only that, but he also bought it. So, <laughs> shout out. Y'all be taking this home. Put a biggie in your mouth. Woo! <laughs> but we have three flavors here, so I feel like you can, you could if you wanted to. Is that tequila in it? it I think fucking, it's wine. It, I don't wine. know, but it tastes like a margarita. It tastes like... Yeah. It's first. probably malt liquor. It is crazy how you fucking bad. have to drink it, though. Like, the two-hand, like... Like, you ever see how Trump, like, drinks a cup of water? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> double hand, like... 
Like, who the fuck does that, dude? Like, what? He's like, oh, uh, my hands are much too large. I can't. I think if it was cold, it would be better. <laughs> oh, yeah, warm. room temperature. Warm, yeah, room temperature. So that's kind of why I was saying, too. The other two are actually cold. Oh, okay. It, I, I know at least oh. the green one is cold. That's not that bad, though. So that was the lime Rita yeah, one. Right. The aftertaste is pretty bad. It's surprisingly yeah. not <laughs> bad. I could sip. I, could, bad. I was able to just. Turns out I'm still a garbage person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you if you try to drink a few gulps of uh, like a lot of alcohols, your brain is like fucking stop stop. Yeah. For a second. It's kind of like a Mountain Dew, I think. To me, I yeah. can't have a single sip of a Mountain Dew. It's that been shit. years. I think yeah. that's what it tastes. Like. I uh, <laughs> I think you're right though. Yeah. I like any more staining from soda but, yeah. and really anything with like high fructose corn syrup in it for like really staunchly for at, at least five years. And I had my first Mountain Dew and I was telling you, dude, it felt that, like I was being stabbed through the solar. Place. It doesn't feel I'm good. Like, Why the fuck do I feel like I'm being murdered right now? Dude, that's like what I'm th- stabbed through my like with a rapier through my fucking solar plex. I did the whole 180 you know, worst I, heartburn ever you 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 watched I lived like complete shit for a long time and then just like 180 to gas and station now, cheeseburgers if I, yeah now yeah. if I tried to go <laughs> back fuck that I, dude <laughs> like, yo like yeah you've watched me eat some gnarly shit and oh then I was just God. like I'm fine the next day and now now if I try to go back and do any of that shit like if I have a lapse in judgment it's immediate like I had a sip of a fu- I had a Mountain Dew each child put 10 like, years on your life homie yeah <laughs> immediately like I take it's a like, bam bam oh yeah. shit I no, can't I, just wake up and like shake that shit off anymore nope <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I, dude I took that sip of Mountain Dew and was like what how did I fu- I used to drink this every fucking I used to drink this like it was water I couldn't even get through a fucking can without being like this is this is far, far too much. This is way too much of everything going on right now. Woo. I found out the other day that uh, the an Oreo of... McFlurry has 103 grams of sugar in it, which God is damn. three times the daily recommended value for a male. <laughs> God which damn. Is, wow. Which is like 20% higher. than If you're a female, it's 25 grams, I think. That's crazy. So, Like how many grams days, is a McFlurry? 103. So, no, like total. Oh, total? Yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Probably... <laughs> I'd say it's like a third of a pound. They're fucking heavy things. They're yeah. cream and shit like that. But yeah, how many? Gr- <laughs> I mean, yeah, total grams to sugar ratio of fucking a McFlurry. Let's see. Let's look at the McFlurry nutritional information real quick. Uh, oh, zero. this is this is behind <laughs> the scenes too. But I noticed on the last <laughs> podcast. Are you now just recording this screen so that you can clip it in whenever? Is that what you're doing? Yes, dude, you're a gangster. Yeah, yeah. I that's, realized that's what he was doing it's last time. Just an OBS the... setup. One screen one is a green. One yeah. scene is not green, and then you just hell yeah. it, and then it's all. This is McFlurry a nutritional facts. Yeah, nutritional facts. Sixty grams of sugar in uh this. It was one hundred and three in the size. I I I had the. They had yeah. It's it, this is a different size than the fucking one I had. I had the Ooh. tall one. Uh, I had it over one. the course of multiple uh, eatings, but it's got now, twelve grams of port- protein, protein though. Dude, oh my god! Put my little bug syrup in there. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The high fructose corn syrup. Is that what you're talking about? The bug syrup? No, I mean like how they you can make protein out of bugs. Just put yeah, that shit in how, my. Put that oh, shit that's in how, my that's what a lot morning. of protein powder is based like worms and shit. Crickets. The the bones. The fuck are you there talking money? about? Most so protein powder is whey words. protein. Yeah, but there's other ones. Yeah, there's protein powder yeah. made out of bug. They grind like, up cicadas peas? and shit. Peas? Yeah, I'm not fucking Where talking bullshit. Where are they selling the bug protein? They, Where the fuck are they selling? Marlene. They bug. sell the cricket powder there. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm hilarious. not talking bullshit. Elizabeth brought See, home I'm some. not talking bullshit. Damn. Cricket diet. Woo. Bro, America's a third world no, country. The, I, know, make, I didn't even know it. You bro. Make We're bread. eating bugs out here, dog. Yeah, no, she's <laughs> making bread with it. It doesn't taste bad, <laughs> honestly. Come on, you would love this one, Justin. It's earth chimp protein. <laughs> earth <laughs> chimp protein. I am an earth. Yeah. That's for me. Yeah. <laughs> that product was made specifically for me. Well, I feel space chimps are excluded. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I've that's been trying fucking to actually wild, use though. a lot more stoned ape. That makes me think of our branding. <laughs> that like, makes me this think is probably a, a good piercer. idea. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me think of Snowpiercer. Have you ever seen Snowpiercer? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Dude, they're eating the fucking the cockroach thing? fucking cakes and shit. Oh, give me one of those, bro. bro the that harshest. Scene, that one, scene fucked me up, dude. You want to know what <laughs> fucked me up? And I, it's like one of the most fucked up lines in any movie ever that I've ever seen. And it's when uh, who, who's the main actor? What's his name? 
Chris uh, Pratt. <laughs> no, not Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt Chris wasn't Evans. in the snow. Chris, Chris Evans. Chris Farley. Evans. Okay, yeah, Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's saying he's like, you know, you you know, it's worse than knowing what uh, people taste like, knowing that babies taste the best. Yeah. <laughs> like that's a fucked up line, bro. That shit like lived in my head for a while. I'm like, that's that's fucked up. Like, could you could you even imagine like being brought to that level where like you no. were forced to cannibalize? I would kill myself. I don't have it in me to do that. You would donate yourself to to feed. Like you would become feed. I wouldn't. What want if the that, baby but... was kind of a dick? Aren't all babies kind of a dick? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only because they don't have fully matured dicks yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, I think yeah. once your dick gets matured, you you become more. You a lot of people become more dick like because they you know they it's they get a a feeling of. You know, like like what's the what's the thing you always tell someone who's like looking to like pick up girls or whatever? It's like always like uh, your dick isn't magic or whatever, right? It's like you can't you can't sway people like 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 women don't just like want to. Well, I don't fucking know. If you not, if no Dude, that was like a this. Biden speech that you just gave <laughs> yeah. us. No, just all then. of that was actually true shit. And no, but that was like a Biden all, speech. That so. whole utterance that you were that was coming out of your mouth, it was sounded like a Biden speech. Where were you going with that? Well, it's just Back like and the, spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm still lost. What? Like Say you it. know, like some people like like have a large penis and think it makes them the goat. You know? And, oh, okay. And, and it's like. Like big dick energy, like big dick energy, but yeah. like it, that can but be a bit, baby. You know, there's, there's bad people, there's bad thing, right? Sometimes yeah. people are annoying because they think they're cool and they think they're better than other people because they have big dick, and it's like you're not, obviously. Yeah, and no one really cares. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. Size queens care. <laughs> that's the thing. That's, that's the thing, right? It's like you say that people do care. Yeah, people do. There care. are people who care. Yeah, yeah, but there's people who care about all sorts of random shit. Right. Yeah, like our podcast. Yeah. Yep. Shout yeah. out Dan Oz. <laughs> what up, man? Uh, we love you. You said you're herbless. Do you have any herb that you would like me to make? I don't into? have any. All right. Unfortunately. No, but you were talking about bug juice, and it made me think of fucking lysine and like what how, how high fructose corn syrup is produced. Um, They did a whole fucking uh, documentary uh, with uh, Matt Damon uh, uh, called The Informant. Mm, and yeah. he was working for um, Archer oh, Daniels Midland. Yeah, yeah, it was. No, but he breaks the whole Based fucking thing. Based on a true story. Yeah. Down. Yeah, because they were using um, microorganisms and feeding them a slurry of like corn. And they were concentrating the fructose in the corn. That's why it's called high fructose corn syrup. Just like um, how aphids, like aphids shit is just pure nectar. Like they eat the plants and they just shit out like basically pure sugar out of their ass. Like ants yeah. harvest. There's Did you know aspartame is a biologically modified version e. of E. coli? Yeah, yeah. That dude, they shit out? Yeah, dude. That's that aspartame. That shit's fucking weird. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but are they farming aspartame or is they synthesizing yeah, it? Yeah, they synthesize. Well, they f they're farming it through this process of, of fucking E. coli. Um, um, a genetically um, modified E. coli strain. Yeah, okay, right. But they're not like feeding it to, it's not naturally occurring, right? But the organism, right? the organism that they feed the so. corn okay. slurry okay. to for the high fructose corn syrup is called lysine. Yeah. And so they feed this slurry and then out comes this fucking syrup, high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, you're fucking eating bug shit. Like that's what's happening. Like there, and it's in everything. I dare you Delicious. go to the go to the fucking grocery <laughs> store. There's a local guy who does this whole series of exposing like BlackRock and all these mega corporations. Is that the He's guy with the guy. long hair and the mustache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, and he I goes down all an his aisle videos, yeah. and he like breaks down the aisle of like the the corporations, like what's yeah. corporately owned, what's family owned, and how like some of these family owned companies are really just large corporations. Yeah. Um, no, he just broke down one today how, he's local how universal studios owns a third of the music and that's the guy who's like in charge of the whole puff daddy stuff going ah. on right now and and he was like i wonder how many of these songs are, or because they're they was, were all being manipulated the, like epstein was doing you think he's that's what i was gonna say do you think he's on the flight logs do you think he's been to epstein island um it hasn't come out in the reports dude but um, no, they're claiming Bam. it's like a full other kind of Epstein thing going on. Yeah. Not, not necessarily they were connected, but they had all the secret recordings in every room and, and like, like people getting shot and like all the people, they're drugging everybody's drinks and then they're like having sex with these minors. And Got you. Yeah. Then they would yeah. blackmail them. Yes, it's on the ground now. Apparently this is all allegedly. It's not, 
no one's guilty yet. Yeah. Yet. But yeah. but it looks Has pretty any bad. Has any of the videos for them. been released? Yeah, they have got photos and videos oh, of all kinds. Of, so shit. I mean, the allegedly looks and pretty this is, strong. This is <laughs> yeah. this is who now? Puff Daddy and the guy. I think what was it? Universal Studios. I don't want to wow. get that wrong. But so P Diddy's about to go down like uh, the uh, the remix to Ignition. Yeah, <laughs> like R Kelly. But like way more gay. But I mean, how like that R Kelly shit was pretty gay though. Yeah, that shit I mean, was, it was weird. He was banging boys. That, yeah, that shit was, <laughs> it was super weird, gay, dude. <laughs> no, he made that one chick dress like as a, a boy. Hotel, do you know that he had like a hotel prison in inside? It was like an inside hotel, bunch of rooms, but it was just like a prison. And yeah, they just, couldn't like, talk with each other. Dude, did they you watch any a, of the R Kelly shit? Yeah, surviving R. Kelly. That it's was wild. fucked up, dude. Because if you're going to get locked up, it might as well be at the Hampton. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. And like the grooming shit? No, they were brainwashed. They wouldn't leave either. Like, like with Aaliyah yeah. and Aaliyah's parents? Do you know who Aaliyah is? Uh, Yeah. The singer? Oh, man, she was so pretty. Yeah, she got knocked up at, what was it, 14, 15, 15 yeah, from 15. R. Kelly. And they hid the pregnancy. Yeah, like basically he bought and her parents got, off, silence got off. Got an abortion. And the P video, dude. Yeah. The P tapes <laughs> and that whole shit, dude. And the girl like really wanted to fucking do something about it, but her parents were just like, well, we can't say anything because we took the money. Right? Like imagine right. imagine that. Imagine being a kid that was like pissed on and then your parents got bought off, so now you can't even talk about it. Yeah, that's crazy. And they signed a fucking agreement. Yeah. Damn, that's some I don't fucked know if up. That shit. would actually hold up, dude. That's court. some fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think you can do NDAs for like l illegal, you know, yeah, uh, right. shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but you can maybe settle. they believed it. No, it's called a settlement. They right. settle but outside still. of court. Whatever those agreements are, the court doesn't get involved. They're like, okay, we've agreed to settle outside no, of court. But you can't make a contract that's outside of law. Though. Yeah. It, they don't it, know it, that. It, Do you think the right. people that are selling their kids off to fucking R. Kelly care about that? They're like, no, <laughs> just be quiet. We took the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they don't know the fucking law, dude. Yeah, right. They For didn't real. consult the judge before they were like, hold on. Yeah. Serious. <laughs> or maybe they, they, did. they did. And that's why they settled because they're like, we get the money and we get to <laughs> expose him. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not to the second step yet. No. So I was just seeing this thing about uh, uh, Gislaine Maxwell and how. Uh, Gislaine. Oh, dude, she is such, <laughs> such a jizz lane, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ghislaine Maxwell. Gilane. I know, but it's so much Gis more Lane. fun to say jizz lane. Jizz lane. Yeah, because yeah. it just sounds like, you know, like a destination in which they're, you're trying to go. Yeah. Like Pound yeah. Town. Jizz lane. Jizz yeah. lane and Pound Town. <laughs> jizz lane right up and my jizz lane. Yeah, we're at the corner of jizz lane and Pound Town. <laughs> 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 no, but... <laughs> No, but they're saying like, do you do you think like maybe she has? I feel like Pound Town usually leads into Jizz Lane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta take, the, but you gotta take the beast, the beef <laughs> bus to Tuna Town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. No, but they're they're saying like maybe she's still alive and in prison because uh, that's how they're gonna get the most information out of her, like keeping her protected as a witness, right? Right. But she's then useful. also she can get a book out. And get more info. It gives her more time to like compile all the information against the uh, co-conspirators or co. Because and she was she was mentioning that nobody else is on the hook for this. That it's a of all these fucking sex predators. That why is a woman on? It's like well then give up the give up the fucking goods, bitch. You yeah. you want to you want to sit here and 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 fucking uh, uh, cry woke. Or yeah, whatever. yeah yeah yeah. yeah. What, are you talking the one of the founders of the Me Too movement? No, I'm talking Jizz oh. Lane. Oh, Maxwell. Yeah. yeah, one of the founders of the Me Too movement was caught banging an underage boy. That's hilarious. Yeah, oh, she, what was it, Anthony Bourdain's wife, I think? Something like that. Yeah. He banged an underage dude? Yeah, he was like 16 or so. She was just like 30. <laughs> no, but that's why he fucking killed himself, because she was unfaithful, and he was like totally hopelessly in love with her, and he couldn't stand. There was, that's, that's, that's what I heard, that there was information coming out that she was unfaithful, and he couldn't face it, the humiliation of that, and so he just fucking hung himself in France. Yeah, he's got the Will Smith kind of thing going on. 
Has anybody seen Will Smith? Where yeah. the fuck is Will Smith? <laughs> yeah. Has anybody you seen him? What's no. is he, has he even shown his face I at think he's, all? I think he tried to come out as gay recently. What? Hold on, no, literally. Are you serious? Up. I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> I don't know if it's. Oh, TMZ. In a statement at TMZ, a right, representative for Will go. Smith said that this story is completely fabricated. Yeah, it's like I heard the rumor, false. but I didn't believe yeah. it. That'd be awesome, though. <laughs> What a How much is he paying these people to hide the secret? No, the, like at this point, like does bro, does Bruno Mars is gay? Yeah, yeah. Does, yeah. Does, yeah. Does is Will Smith gay? Yeah. Does Will have Smith sex with men? Bald wife has. You were saying, um, <laughs> you were you were saying the getting her into prison is actually a better way to get information out of her thing, right? About Ghislaine Maxwell. Yeah, I think. Uh, that that's interesting because recently there was that. Is that any good? That peach one. Yeah, try it, dude. I I on it. I just went in. It was there. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about it, and I went for it. <laughs> oh, you weren't ready? Go for it. Yeah. You yeah. Try it. I'll, I'll try it in yeah. a sec. But, you can uh, put the, put the peach nectar in I your mouth. Yeah, uh, but peach uh, there was the guy who- Have you ever eaten pussy? Uh, yeah. You have? Yes. You... Fucking way to go, bro. I wasn't good at it, but I, <laughs> I, so, wasn't I, so I, did, I studied. I, 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 studied. I, did, I studied. <laughs> I, I did my required reading for next time, but- Anyways, you should just close your eyes next time and do it by Braille. <laughs> Give no, you just go. She'll like that shit. Braille. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Howard Stern style. Yeah. Have her straddle a subwoofer, bro. Yeah, and then hum into the microphone. Uh, anyways, so the right. guy who uh, leaked that GTA Six was coming out. <laughs> oh yeah, uh -huh. right. Yeah, that guy got life. They gave GTA him life. GTA Six, GTA Grand Theft Auto Six is coming out. They 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 uh, announced it in early December or yeah. something like that, and a guy leaked it before that, and he got yeah, he life for it. Leaked a bunch of their shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just well, watched he, he that. How does that mean your life goes away? Right. No, exactly. He, right. So I don't remember this... him getting life. I think it was like. No. He, I, Can we look, let's sure pull that life. shit up? You're going to make a claim like but, that. Yeah. Extraordinary <laughs> claims require what? <laughs> and so. Extraordinary uh, claims require at least a tiny bit of evidence. A hospital a life prison. sentence in a, a hospital prison awaits uh, Ariane Which Cortage. is 25 years. What do you mean a life sentence is 25 years in a hospital prison? Well, every in court, life sentence is 25 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Not how I think that needs to live. be amended, that homie, because the life, the, the life, yeah, the life, the life expectancy. How long is a life sentence? No, but but I know what he's talking about. Yeah, but th I think that needs to go up because the life expectancy <laughs> has increased. Yeah, so like there's crimes well. that people. If you're only serving 25 years for that, nah, fuck you. I'll kill you myself. Why the UK? In the UK. Because this guy's from the UK. Yeah, I thought uh, he got arrested in the US. Though. Oh, did he? If you're given a life sentence, it will last the rest of your life. Well, what about, okay, what about in the USA? Typically, it lasts for one's lifetime. However, uh, a, you, a judge may impose a life sentence of 30 years to a life with a chance of parole. Yeah, 30 years. Oh, okay. Because I've seen, like, multiple Hold life on, there's sentences. A, there's a, is life sentence 25 years? People also ask thing right there. And People I'm, also I'm, ask. I'm kind of curious yeah. as to see. They're all good. There's a fact down there. <clears throat> um, yeah, fact. Because people have gotten multiple life sentences. I think that, I always feel like that's just a BM. Like fuck yeah. you, <laughs> fuck you. Even if you get each revived, one is a fuck yeah, you. Yeah, if you get cryogenically fuck you, revived, fuck you. Fuck oh that too. yeah, <laughs> fuck you, and then yeah. fuck you some more, and then hey, guess what? Also, fuck you. Yeah. Well, a one a life sentence yeah. imposes an obligation of a defendant to serve only fifteen to twenty-five years in prisons until the eligibility of parole. Uh, depends on the gravity of the crime and on the jurisdiction in which they're tried. Okay, but regardless, you know, he, he got a life, so maybe twenty-five years or whatever. But um, he. Got like a life sentence, and but that's for leaking information Wait, about a fucking no, video not, game. Hold on. Not just that. Just but, chill out. Yeah. Explain there's why, a whole thing how much behind shit it. he did before. Okay. This. He he was in a whole right. hacking group before this, where they were like still on everybody's like credit cards and stuff, and he and he has like autism and Fuck is like guy. one of the best at it. I'm already on the life sentence side now. Yeah, but no, he was a, he got arrested for that shit. Then he went back into it and like got arrested again. And then like, well, there are other hackers that he kind of pissed off and they kind of or one specifically that took over his website and he was always trying to get him back for it yeah but he was always like fuck you i'm not joining your team like but no if you that, willingly fuck people over fuck you i yeah. don't give a no fuck. but both hackers were fucking people over yeah but they just kind of got mad at each other but the one just kind of exposed the other dude 
but then he got arrested like multiple times for this and then he was on on or he was oh. arrested and he was staying in a hotel j- mm-hmm. waiting to go to court um but yeah it, like broke apart like the router and ended up i think he went to the 7-eleven and got a phone or something it was an it was a fire tv stick or a fire tv stick yeah yeah so he homie's hacked. like a legit he's, he's like a legit, legit hacker like he's yeah. like macgyver shit like he'd go to 7-eleven and break into anything yeah yeah yeah, no, that's he's, crazy. Yeah, the fire TV stick. He had been and then ordered hacked. to not be allowed to have a computer already. Right. Damn. And he, so he, just and he was me. under police su- surveillance. <laughs> I thought th- I didn't think that shit was real. Have you ever seen the movie Swordfish? No, but I know Man, what that it's is. been forever. John Travolta. Yeah, yeah. It, um, uh, I hardly Hugh, remember Hugh Jackman. Anyhow, yeah. it's about fucking hacking and shit, but like at an elite level. And they talk about that, where people were banned from even like touching a computer. Like, like they literally could be violated for no. like their parole for touching any fucking right. computer. No, and this, that's wild. This How guy you... is like, I'm 100 percent gonna do it again once I get out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah, you can't stop me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so the life, the life does seem a little more sensical. But the reason I was thinking about this, right, was it's like I just said sensical instead of sensible. Anyways, yeah. um, he gets life. This guy has to be working for the CIA within six months, right? There's no way they're right. leaving this guy to rot in a prison. Yeah. yeah. For decades. There's no way. Yeah. And immediately recruit him. Yeah. So it might be life as in we're going to disappear him and have him work for like exactly. a black yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. Just <laughs> so that there's no pay question for him of where to he be is on the books years. at that prison. Yeah. Yeah. Well, part of it is because, you know, he's autistic, they're saying, but like they still can't necessarily. Or they, I mean, they. They can put it as kind of a thing as why, um, or you know how much time he Take gets. It. That's but, all you. But no, just <laughs> like by practice. him practice. saying like I got caught in all these times, but I'm still gonna do it again. Like that was kind of why the mental hospital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. But like, but you said a, that was your biggest fear. Homie's a legit villain. Like he's a legit villain he's at this point. He's yeah. like, there's nothing you can do to me. I'm just gonna continue to do this. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah, but he's the one that released all the well, like he released all the GTA Six stuff. Yeah, like so th- that's not easily. why he got a life sentence. It wasn't no. for the leaking of. That's just that was kind of the last thing that he right. did. <laughs> the GTA leaker that was got his. Life. That was his last. Fuck you. Not he's like for leaking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his. Uh, what do they call that? Uh, the magnum opus. Yeah, magnum opus. Yeah. Or, or, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, why am I thinking Salvo? Yeah, I'm thinking Salvo. But uh, yeah, dude, that's fucking wild. That's that's crazy that you could do damage electronically. Yeah, with that the affects, fire stick. But that affects people's room. real lives. Yeah, it affects people's real yeah. lives. Like you I, could do digital I couldn't damage. Imagine. <laughs> that affects people's real lives. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I can imagine it. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, he's just doing it for the fun of it. Too. I mean, like, the moment I figured out about people, right. being you could have able just to, like, bought stocks in, in Rockstar or I'm whatever, scamming. and then released GTA Six like leaks, and it's like, oh shit, just a GTA Six coming out. Rockstar skyrockets, you make a bunch of money, but he didn't do any of that shit. Yeah, he's just he just love for the love of the game. <laughs> Are quantum right. computers considered non-binary? <laughs> yeah. You know, that's a joke that, that people make frequently. Really? Like, oh, like, that's oh, hilarious. Like, I don't know what to do. My daughter is two. Um, and uh, I, I can't, I don't know how to explain to her that there's only zero one one one. Or my daughter is zero one one two one, you know, or zero one 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 zero zero one one. Yeah. And it's like, but she thinks she's two. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> I don't know how to tell her that there's no such thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. And it's like binary joke. Yeah. But how does that, what does that have to do with co- quantum computing? Is that you said, are they non-binary? And so yeah. the joke is that a zero one computer, like a, like a, what is it? Like a, a computer running on zeros and ones doesn't know what a two is. Yeah. Right. And that's the joke is like binaries. We're finally expanding behind the binary of computer. Computer. Yeah. Do you computer think AI binary. will ever but don't you just multiply identify the as one? non-binary? But don't you just multiply the ones and zeros? Isn't that what happens with the quad core and the octa core and like all that shit? They're just adding ones and, you know, it's like the amount of computation that it can do. It's just more physical processing. Well, what I recall is with the qubits or the quantum bits, 
they make them negatively and positively charged on each end. That's super confusing to religious people if you start talking about qubits. Yeah. They start thinking about the fucking arc. The and arc. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, sorry. But anyways, apparently there's, I think it's, there's a one and a zero on each side is what I recall. But of the qubits, I don't know. It's been a while since I learned it, but. No, they made it like positive and negative on both sides. And neither. Yeah. And both. <laughs> yeah. So it's both and neither and either. Yeah. Or. Quantum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's bo- both and either or neither or. Yeah. That, yeah. I'm confused. So maybe Biden's just speaking in quantum. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dude, is there a translator? No, Can Biden get talks like if you if you rearranged his sentences, they would make sense. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like you have to play word scramble yet? with. How old is Biden? Do we need an octogenarian translator? <laughs> like 81? Dude, what? Right. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Or does he need better fixident? Like do we need presidential fixident? <laughs> does he have dentures? Or like... You ever see someone talk with dentures and they, they, their fucking dentures come loose while they're talking? And you're like, what yeah. the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> like like their skeleton just slipped or something? You're just like, yeah. no. That's like evolutionarily terrifying. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. Your teeth aren't supposed to do that. Yeah. No, my grandma used to come at us and she'd clack her fucking dentures. She'd go like that. And like they'd be loose in her mouth and she'd fucking, it freaked me the fuck out as a kid. You know, like Alien, the the xenomorphs yeah. have that thing that like protrudes out and it has yeah. a mouth on it. Right. No, that's like it freaks me out like yeah, that. Like little mouth. In the yeah, big dude. Mouth. No, <laughs> fuck all of that, dude. Like a uh, an angler fish too. Yeah. Those things are oh, creepy yeah. as shit. God no. damn it, dude. Speaking of Why age, is everything in the dark the creepiest? Speaking of age, oh, yeah. we got on the fucking notes here of Brennan forgetting his own age. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just realized a few days Dude. ago I'm not going to be 40 in July. I've been telling everybody. <laughs> like, literally, like, all year. He's like, yeah, I'm about to be 40, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, 85 <laughs> to 24 don't make 40. Yeah. <laughs> It oh, makes 39. The best part is that you were born in 80, but it's not even hard math to I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Dude. No, I was talking with my No, but you got ex- a whole extra year out of it. I know. So, dude, I you're living life, stoked, bro. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, super ready to be 40, though. Like, fuck, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, That's just think of this amazing. next year, dude, charging up for actually 40. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Did you? The dude's gonna be twenty. So wait, on your last birthday party, did you celebrate your thirty ninth? I have no idea. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) How far? How long have you been off for? How many years have you been off? Did your mom give you a birthday card or any? Did she say happy birthday? Yeah, but it's not like happy whatever numbered birthday. That's so funny. (laughs) Yeah. Like, at what point did they stop numbering the birthday cards? Yeah. Right. (laughs) (laughs) I think twenty five. Probably either twenty five or thirty. You would assume. I'm thinking ten. Do you think birthday cards go past ten? Yeah. What are you talking? Yeah. What? The age of birthday on the birthday card? Yeah. Like, you don't go. Maybe there's a gap between there and 70 or something. They like start putting the numbers back on for people that can't remember. They have like like 16. They have like 18. They have sign one of them. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What? At 35, you can be the president now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, What age do they stop putting the number on the birthday card? Probably like 12, and then, like Ryan said, there's they, a 16, 18, 21. And then it's just like a, a nine base, like a fucking number. Like you just start getting the numbers and putting them together. Well, right. yeah, it just yeah, becomes yeah. like any... any Like uh, the candles on, on a cake, right? Like the, the, the highest number on a, on a candle on a cake is nine. At, and then you just start making the configuration right. of the numbers that you want after that. My candles are actually on a five segment display or whatever it's called, eight segment display. Oh yeah, you got the digital. Segment. Nice. Yeah, yeah my so. ex French girlfriend got a hold of me this last week, and yeah, I told her I was about to be forty. She's like, "No, you're not." <laughs> <laughs> His girlfriend knew how old he was. <laughs> <laughs> this information didn't come from his mother. That no. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, yeah, sweet, bad to be 40. She's like, no, you're not, you fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. No, I told her I about? was slightly retarded. 
Yeah, you totally want to leave an escargot oh, je trail. Oh, yeah, je suis, je suis un peu en retard. Yeah, mm-hmm. retard. <laughs> Is that retard? <laughs> en retard. Well, it just means it, it doesn't. It means like retard. slow, or it means like late. So you say, if you say, if you say like, I'm that's late, what you say means. Je, right. je suis slow. en retard. I, uh, je, you know, je, I am E N space R E T A R D en retard. I am in retard or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Freedom fries. <laughs> Reta. No, she said she was gonna listen. So, no, oh, hilarious. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, Lolo. Yeah. Excuse me, but les phrases en français. He told me he's like he's like my girlfriend Lolo just messaged me. I'm like you should tell her hi, hi, Lolo. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> Dude. Dude, every time I feed this guy a line, he does it. One time he even got pussy off off a line. Which one? Uh, oh, I guess uh, the well, only time yeah, since yeah. I've been here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what line was it? I forget. Oh, it was, uh, yeah, anyhow. I don't want to use names. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's name-based? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just said Lolo. No, no, this was the previous, <laughs> previous, anyhow. You know what happened. I know who was there. But yeah. what was what was the pickup line? I can't remember. It's in your phone. It's like the first thing that you messaged her after you exchanged numbers. <laughs> she was like, oh, Brendan, is this you? He's like, oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. And that's Give how you get pussy. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I'm a good been, wingman. I'm I've a good been, wingman. Lake Washington, though, on that one renting job, got that one Bangladesh chick interested in the number, and then the professional soccer player that I was like, <laughs> oh, you play for the Seattle Rain? And I was like, oh, cool. It's ba- oh, <laughs> like dude. I did a bunch of <laughs> basketball references. <laughs> but apparently it's not basketball. <laughs> so the Seattle Rain, you know, are you familiar? Yeah, R R E R E I G N G N. But yeah. are you joke familiar? About Seattle Rain. Right. Seattle Rain. Yeah. What sport? I know this is soccer. Okay. Yeah. Did you know soccer? No, nah, I had no idea. Now I check. Know, I've heard the name. No, so That's he's like home. over here chatting her up with all these basketball references. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and we looked her up later, and she has these fucking quads that are insane. Like she looks like a power lifter. There's it's this one crazy. There's this yeah. one freeze frame of her, and legit, like it looks like a horse leg. No, it's all <laughs> it's all public. Her name's Maya. Uh, she's the goalkeeper for the oh, Seattle for Rain. Seattle Rain. Look her up. I'm. I promise you, M-A-I-A. her thighs will not disappoint. Yeah, Seattle Rain goalkeeper images. Yep, on the top left, yeah. But there's one, there's one you of her find kicking. One of her in action. There's yeah, where her thighs. Don't are. Don't make it creepy though. Don't put legs. In <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Shirt. I did not. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a weird angle. Like yeah, the no. Spread. There's one that's super is... fucking. It looks like she has a horse leg, but it's not. Yeah, I don't see. I can't there. find it. Action, right action shot. You got to go down. Scroll. Scroll down. Action. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, nah, these aren't her. No, nah, they don't look crazy there. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how many of these are a picture on, of her. Hold on, go down. Over on the left. Up one. Boom. That's not the picture I'm thinking of, but look at them legs. Is yeah. this her? I'm pretty sure. Maya, what's does her last look, name? This does not look like it's her. Maya Perez, yeah. Well, Maya I mean, yeah, Perez. But shout out like. Maya Perez, Seattle Rain, <laughs> soccer player. You know what's funny is there's a there's an energy drink company called Storm, yeah. soccer player called Figured Storm, uh, or called Rain, called Rain. Yeah. And then they put out a product called Storm. So they have like a smaller can called so it's Rainstorm. Is there it, hilarious? Yeah, but both of Seattle's female teams are Rain and Storm for soccer and and basketball. Uh, Just in case you didn't know that You make me giggle Brennan Yeah (laughs)
You're like, oh, <laughs> shit, I'm not 40? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing you're really into basketball, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is I'm not. Yeah. But I no, was he's just actually like into soccer. The funny thing is, if he would have realized that he would have been <laughs> able to actually chatter up about soccer. Well, not like anything professional. <laughs> like I love playing it. Yeah. But yeah. see, that's even more than basketball. That's yeah. more than yeah. your love for I never basketball. played basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I sucked at that. Yeah, <laughs> I was Dude, way too white. That's so funny. <laughs> what are you trying to say, bro? Yeah, that's fucked up. No, I. I couldn't do the sprinting all the time. Like I was a long distance guy. I could like I could run ten miles in my prime and cross country. Oh yeah. But yeah, sprinting, like like I'd always trip over myself. Oh, um speaking of fucking basketball, did you see that LeBron James just like broke a fucking record? Did you see that? He he's like made the most points that anybody's ever made in basketball ever. In a game? No, 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 just oh, like total. total. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, dude. Have you been to the Nike facility, the LeBron James building? God damn. So he is the first player to pass 39,000 and 49 and 40,000 regular season points in the NBA. Regular? Wow. It's like that's not, to pass that's not lifetime, that's a fucking season. God damn, yeah. I thought that was like a lifetime. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did they have a I'm totally the goat. basketball though? In so, Nike, you know. at the LeBron James facility, they have a full basketball court and like all the areas where he's taken those specific shots and the number of those shots and like the yeah. math behind it and like. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Dude, yeah. fuck being president when you grow up. I want to be black when I grow up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get your own well, building. You get your own sneakers. Well, no. now. Wow. LeBron James. <laughs> <does>. Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. They're Dude, overcompensating man. for something. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's for uh, 40 acres and a mule. <laughs> yeah. Right, how many it's acres reparation. is the facility? Right. That's, that's what they're <laughs> no. overcompensating for. The Nike oh, facility yeah. is its the own The LeBron city. James building in the there. Nike facility. Like, the white-owned Nike facility is reparations Family for... owned. Family owned. Nike's a family company. <sighs> Done. Yeah, <laughs> and what race is that family? What, <laughs> what look skin it up. color does that <laughs> family have? Dude, I forget the dude's name. There's a great documentary about it, too. You know what's great? Oh, who's that on the right? I think that's just that's a statue. Oh, <laughs> of a white it looked guy. Black. You know what's great is that <laughs> <laughs> I said that not even knowing if Nike. Like I just guessed. I just yeah. figured that. No way. Do right. you know? Do you know Nike, what Nike you know comes why, from? You know that is because Nike would be the uh, if it was a black guy who had founded Nike, then he would be an insanely wealthy man, and he would be the richest black man in the world. I think, yes. and then you would know who it was because he'd be standing out. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Makes Do sense. you know the origin behind Nike though? Like my name Nikita. <laughs> no. Do you? You should know this. Okay. Yeah, I Do you? No. No. Apparently not. Okay, break it down. The guy who originally, uh, uh, I don't remember what, there was some war happening, uh, the, the Spartans or something like that in fucking the ancient times, and a Greek guy ran back to Oh, you're talking Nike? Yeah, 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 like that, that story. Okay. That's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, uh, and, uh he said. That's the marathon. The marathon, right. Yeah, he said yeah, Nike, yeah. which yeah. is the word, yeah. their word for Greek victory, and then he died on the spot. From yeah. Exhaustion. So I knew that. Nike is the phrase. Yeah. I didn't know if you were asking. About, but that's like that's not the story of their company. I no, didn't know no, if you no, were no. asking the story or, of their yeah, company. I thought you yeah. meant the word. That, that's what I meant. Yeah, I yeah, was thinking right. the company. You were too. right, but my point is I could have been right. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, I thought you were asking a different. If question. we're quantum computing, <laughs> yeah. If we're quantum computing, yeah. he could right, have been right. right. Yeah. <laughs> in any time. possible in different, possibility, different in universe. Any, yeah, yeah universe in any dimension in any given time. I'm I could right. have been right. Maybe yeah. in another time or space, you shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, but the Buzzballs live up to their name. I will say that. 
I'm faded off the buzz balls. Yeah. Are your no, balls buzzing? Buzz. The mushrooms are kicking are not, in for me. That for might sure. be part of it, too. <laughs> 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 that might be part of it. I might have underestimated. Like, yeah, the mushrooms are, are kicking in. Hold on. Let me take another sip of this potion. <laughs> <laughs> See who we're losing tonight. To, to Hubo's attic, <laughs> him. <laughs> no, I, that's what I say. I'm, I no, see, but, look, I'm yeah, watching it happen progressively. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, if this had no branding on it, bro. It's like this, shouldn't this just say potion? Shouldn't this just say potion? All right, on that it. It's kind of fire, bro. Right? Like I would actually buy it if it said potion. Oh, maybe if totally it was out of glass. Flask shaped shit that is in glass that's called like health potion, Fuck stamina yeah. potion, yes. mana potion. Bro, let's do that. That's yeah. a brilliant I, idea. I love it. Nerds we, will we, buy that. Yeah, it, for sure. I can would we buy make that. it? Can we yes. make some cannabis infused ones as well? Yes. Yes. Let's make some potion bottles, bro. I love that yeah. idea. Fuck yeah. Booze you, bottles and cannabis. Or you need some HP apothecary. during the work day. Yeah, dude, like apothecary. That's a dope word. That's one of, that's a, like one of my favorite words. Word. There's something about apothecary that just like, I don't know. There's certain words that are like, uh, like I don't know, antiquated, you know, but it like harkens back to like an era where like people spoke like that. Right? The only one no one has tried is the sour apple chiller. I'm down to oh, try it. I thought it. it was the same as the other one. No, it's not. That one's the lime. It's Rita. all Malika. You, you guys got three flavors to try. I, yeah, dude, the aftertaste of that. I don't have to try it to remember the aftertaste of Buzz Balls. <laughs> the peach one is not it's bad. Just it's super delicious, like, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it. But, uh, well, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're like ready for like a beer or anything, and then you're like, oh, yeah, this. Yeah. No, not. just instinct. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, something's there. So mine as well. Mm. Okay, let's go back to the design. I just spilled this all over myself. Yeah, it's almost like my a, thumb wanted to naturally go up to the top of. Yeah, this it's bottle. almost like a circular fucking thing is not designed to be a good receptacle for liquid. Yeah, but our mana potions no, are but look, are, but, are they are yeah. circular. No, but do you see that? Their ours are better, are different. They're look, good. Grab, Bye. hold on, grab it, hold and on. See what happens to your hand. Your hand wants hold on. to go here. All I'm saying my is. Thumb this one, they did it smart. You know why? They've got a neck on the bottle. Yes. They got a neck on the bottle. If they just made this smaller, but also put a neck with a little cap instead of the fucking cracky shit, then you wouldn't do that, and then you wouldn't spill. Do you think they just wanted to like, get better, Buzz a, balls. Do you think they just wanted to give a challenge to the chips that actually yeah. drink this? Like the the people that actually buy these. Do you Out think they're just like we just want to the see design yeah. to the women <laughs> own Buzz balls? Like, listen, bitches do better. Yeah, be doing you. better. No, or what did Donald Trump's wife say? Be best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is what was what what's Donald Trump's wife's name? Mel Melania. Uh, Melania. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was the first lady of the United States. That that's a thing. That's in the history. Yeah, she yeah. no, she was she the was first lady. The, yeah, she and was. her slogan. Her slogan uh, f for the first lady of America. Women's History Month. Yeah. Was <laughs> be best. <laughs> be best. <laughs> yeah. That's not fucking how we talk here, lady. <laughs> okay? Learn English. Yeah. She, how she about Russian that? Or something? Yeah, it, uh, she's like um, some Slavic. Right? I don't know, but you can. Totally she was legit see a prostitute. No, she was a legit prostitute. Yeah, you she can was totally. A fucking whore. Yeah, and, 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 and before she. Origin. Yeah, he like bought her as a Russian bride. Like it's like that type shit. Yeah. Yes. Oh, she's so, Slovenian. Yeah. Yeah, Slovenian. And if you look up nude, you can also see her tits. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm no, just no, letting you know no, that I'm you can a, see yeah. our we're, first. We're lady's telling tits. all the followers. Right, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> if you want to see our former first lady's tits, you can totally oh, do that. I'll look them up Kennedy? later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is there any Jackie Jackie Kennedy news? I don't, I, I, miss I hope so. You as, know there as, as sick that would be. I feel like that. You know there's Marilyn Monroe. That. Who you know That's Marilyn Monroe was want. the real first lady though. Yeah. Oh yeah. The first lady was uh what is her name? Amelia Earhart, I think. Was the first <laughs> woman in history like ever. <laughs> like she's the first right. one to like register. She was the first she, lady and Barack Obama was the first black man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes all the sense. <laughs> Bro. 
and Mr. Trump is the first. <laughs> Are real these the world Biden Oompa archives? Loompa. Like, is these the Biden yeah. historical archives? Like, just like, the, okay, this is all I need to remember. Yeah. This, I got to get through this. Yeah, he Bill showed Clinton me a was clip. the first black president. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. no, that's the best. No, legit. And like Trump's the first. Who else red got a blowjob? Who else got a blowjob in the Oval Office? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like straight up. <laughs> Not me. Have you seen that uh, Barack Obama doing a during one of the like he was doing a debate or something like that, um, and or like an interview or something while he was running, and uh, the the guy actually uh, running. No, while he was uh, running for president. president. Okay, yeah. there was an go. interview, and they were like, uh, "So people have been Just a lot of people have been saying that how Bill come running Clinton isn't part of running for president? Like they should actually have, have like at least a five k. No, Stephen you should Hawking at least be able to run a five k. Stephen Hawking should have been able should have been able to be the president, right? You would agree with that? But he but could have see, figured out guy how to run. make a running. At answer. what point was he focused politically? At no, all? that's what I'm saying. Some like Stephen Hawking, if he had wanted to be the president, we should have let him run, right? On what grounds? No, I don't think he can't even walk. Homie. Can How's he gonna I'm run? Saying. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Is he can't run a 5K? But he could have been the president. Yeah, but you could let him upgrade his wheelchair. Ride in a car. He just has his people. Get some spinners. Get some fucking hubcap spinners on that. You put monkey bars balling. across the course. And he has yeah, balling. I guess he yeah, gets his arms straight up. Either, but. But yeah, uh, they did a, like they were doing an interview, and they were like, "Yo, do you think do you Bill think Clinton he was, was the ever first like black president?" Give me a ride. Obama said, "Do you like, think that was a pickup line?" Where he said to him, he was like, "He'd get a boner yeah, and like tell him." I'd have to. I'd have to uh, see. I'll just fucking pull it up. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you think when he got a boner, he was like, "Take a ride." Take a ride on the wild <laughs> side. Yeah, he got a couple of people pregnant while he was handicapped. People. <laughs> people. Yeah. Now, do you think it was a fetish thing, or was he just did? Was he swinging a unit, bro? Did like, or money and power? But they were his caretakers. He ended up like marrying his caretakers. Yeah, money. They're just like scrubbing his dick, and he gets hard <laughs> and one money, day. I guess. Yeah. No, I guarantee. Like, here's the well, scenario. Uh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna paint a scenario for how yeah. this shit went down. Like his caretakers, like female caretaker. I'm wondering if he requested a female. Specific, like I don't want a male caretaker. Like that's not. Yeah, no, that was I'm the not. voice he used. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak robot, dude. <laughs> but I'm, I, I'm assuming he requested a female caretaker at any rate, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's getting bathed, like she's fucking scrubbing okay. him down. Hold he on, gets hard. To, she's like, this "Oh is. fuck, that thing's actually like, damn." Oh. No, have you seen porn with the maids? Retard, or like handicap porn? Not handicap. With maids? But any maids that you're like, oh, here's more money. How about the top? Huh? Oh, here's more money. How about the That's bond? prostitution. You're so bland. <laughs> yeah, that's prostitution <laughs> with unless a camera. Unless you have them sign a contract <laughs> yeah. afterwards. Yeah, yeah, it's prostitution <laughs> unless you do it on camera and have them sign a contract. Yep. <laughs> So this is from an interview. Then it's entertainment uh, for the 2008 race. <laughs> All for right. me to beat my dick, dude. Interview 2008 election. All right. What's happening now? What we just said to you. <laughs> interview 2008 election. Obama appreciating what you said about the media's <laughs> preoccupation with race. There, there is there one. Go. Right. So <laughs> the Nobel. Prize Man, Hillary does not look American real. Author Tony Morrison famously observed about Bill Clinton, quote, this is our first black president. Hell yeah! Any <laughs> black person who could ever be elected in our children's lifetime. Oh my God! Bill Clinton was our first black president. <laughs> Hillary's laughing. Yeah, that's oh <laughs> God <laughs> damn! Both of them is crazy. <laughs> Because Hillary in her mind's thinking, no. yeah, I fucked that N word. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary's like, yeah, I fucked him too. Well, <laughs> well. Uh, I think uh, that made her blush. Bill Clinton did have an enormous affinity. Penis. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I think that's well. Uh, you know, like John. Uh, one of the things that I'm always <laughs> doesn't in, know what to say. No, I'm, uh, th th this I'm serious about. The, uh, he said enormous, I'm, I'm dude. That's hilarious. By, Can we uh, edit in penis? Grew up in the South. Penis. No, no, no. You know, create. Uh, he had an enormous penis, how, but he's he's not dumb because he. You know, we have to treat each other, and I think Bill Clinton embodies that. I think he 
uh, deserves credit for that. Now, I haven't, you know, I, I have to say that, uh, uh, you know, I, I would have to, you know. If he says Bill Clinton was, was my N-word, I'm going to die. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know I, Bill I, Clinton. I, I to, you know, investigate more. You know, uh, Bill's dancing abilities and <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, uh, some of this other stuff before I accurately judged uh, whether he was in fact a brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a good. That guy was our. He was the best every, fucking president ever. Was, yeah, that yeah. guy was our fucking president. That's As far as speaking wise. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn the fucking. Screen, screen on. Hey, fuck all of you who are on, who are watching the video. You don't get to see that. That's all uh, in your ears. Get fucked. Uh, no, get fucked. really? <laughs> Damn. I can put it on. Uh, no, that's hilarious, great though. That's one of the best things ever. That was so fucking he is hilarious. Indeed, a brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. No, but the uh, saxophone, him playing the saxophone is just melting everyone's faces. Can you pull up Bill Clinton playing the fucking saxophone? After that, like, you got to pull up that shit. Cause, I don't recall. Because homie legit can play the saxophone. Oh, right. I've seen this. I've seen no, he that. can legit play the saxophone. Dude, we're time traveling. Is this on fucking Arsenio Hall? Yeah. Is this on Arsenio Hall? Wow. He's the first president co-signed by Arsenio Hall, though. That's for sure. He's the first president co-signed by a brother. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Isn't that show gone forever? Like a decade or something. Homie's fire on the like fucking. He's got the like glasses on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trump will never be that dope ever. Trump's also not he, getting blown by Monica he says Lewinsky. He's, <laughs> he says he's the dopest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, have you seen the fucking Shane Gillis with Trump put out shoes? Did you guys hear about Trump putting out fucking shoes? I didn't. Oh, no. pull pull that shit up, dude. And they and they and 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 Shane Gillis did a clip on it where he's like, "No, I made that shot." It's so funny. He like literally throws up an air ball and he's like, "No, I made it." And yeah. everyone's like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Jesus it's like, Christ. what the fuck, dude? These are gold. Uh, they yeah, they are high tops. They're high top sneakers. That's real though. He They're put shiny out shoes. gold with red. Um, like uh, what is the sole? The bot. The base of it is red with white trim and an American flag, like leather. It looks like a boxer, like heel. boxer regalia, like somebody yeah. coming into yeah, a boxer, true, yeah. you know, it looks yeah. like, can you go to that? The, uh, two over one more. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. God, El wanna, Presidente. I've never wanted to kick anybody in the face harder. Mr. Like, President. With those shoes on. Like, literally, like, that would be the... Holy shit. I would love to put a pair of those on and kick that motherfucker right in his face. I can't wait till he becomes our president again. Oh, my Dude, God. That would be so funny. Listen, it'd be bad and all, but it'd be very funny if he became the oh, president again. It'd be like, oh, yeah, for we're comedy just comedy wise, <laughs> just, Right. Yeah, that's why the world's going to shit, but comedy's on no. the rise. No, no you, it's funny. I you have to believe in the multiverse. After Bernie. Yeah, for I, real. After they fucked over Bernie, I oh. I got out of all politics. I didn't watch any news. I didn't give a sh I, I wanted Hillary to lose. I didn't care if Donald Trump won. Yeah, I don't that, like that kind of the sentiment. Wasn't I didn't it? vote yeah, for exactly. either of them. I don't even like talking about it, honestly. It's so fucking depressing, dude. <laughs> it's so, it's so, so soul crushingly depressing. <laughs> He's like the first uh, potential president in my entire life si lifetime, like that was worth being the president. You, you know what I'm saying? Like he, Trump? he the, no, Bernie. no, no, Bernie, <laughs> Bernie. Okay. And when he got cucked out, and then he just he told us the whole fucking time we can't fucking support Hillary. That that was his whole campaign. And then he's gonna go and fucking. Vote and and no tell us that himself. oh no, yeah nah fuck that. If he would have broke from the from the fucking DNC yeah, said, fuck and that. ran independent, he'd have swept the fucking election and changed history. But that's not how it fucking played out. You know, it, it literally would have broke the fucking the whole algorithm.
It would have broke the whole algorithm. There was nothing like he would have been unchained, you know, like the, the and he and that's the reason that fucking that Trump was elected. I, I truly believe in my heart that the yeah. reason that Trump was elected was yeah, because Bernie of, should have won. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Dude, he so Trump the entire time was talking about how big his audiences were and how he, oh this is fucking record breaking. But fucking Bernie Sanders actually was doing that and wasn't even talking about it or hyping it up, but was legitimately setting records for the fucking audience and the momentum that he had. And yeah, so I don't even like talking about that shit, honestly. We yeah, did, it, uh, it, another. Oh, go ahead. Another presidential news. I was just going to segue us to the Biden State of the Union. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you have something to say before that? No. Watch this. Uh, <laughs> so, so we, uh, we have an in under four minutes <clears throat> summary of Biden's 2024 State of the Union address. That we're State of the watch. Onion. State of the Onion address. <laughs> State of yeah, the sorry, Onion as, address. As it's written on our notes. It's written that as, freeze uh, frame is amazing. Tato Look at that Uyibna, potato of a human. Is, yeah, man. That's a potato as a man. It's yeah. right there. Right. Uh. <laughs> the sweet job. Joe Biden, wake President up. President of the United States. He, he well, constantly has an expression of like, holy shit, I'm amazed that I'm here. Our freedom and democracy have been under assault at home. As they are today. Fuck. Dude. What makes our moment rare is the freedom and democracy are under attack <laughs> both at home. They at least should have glued his teeth in. My predecessor and some of you here seek to bury the truth about January 6th. I will not do that. This is a moment to speak the truth and to bury the lies. Here's the simple truth. You can't love your country only when you win. It's a decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court majority wrote the following. And with all due respect, justices. Women are not without electoral, electoral power. Uh, excuse me, electoral or political power. You're about to realize just how much you get right about that. <laughs> Those bragging about overturning Roe v. Wade have no clue about the power of women. But they found out <laughs> when reproductive freedom Mad, on the no. ballot, we won in 2022 and 2020, and we will again in 2024. <laughs> In November, my team began serious negotiation with a bipartisan group of senators. The result was a bipartisan bill with the toughest set of border security reforms we've ever They must have gave him the Hitler fucking cocktail before this speech, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't like that oh, he's hopped up. That conservatives got together and said it was a good bill. You mean meth? meth? You mean they gave him meth? That's amazing. Mm. Right? It's a cocktail. Lincoln, Lincoln that bitch is crazy. The chick there, do you know Mar who she is? Marjorie Taylor Oh, Green, my yeah. God, dude. She's insane. For the, for the audio viewers, they, they cut to Marjorie Taylor Green heckling the fucking state of the union. <laughs> no, she's <laughs> set tripping, bro. She's <laughs> set tripping. She's, she's straight. wearing a MAGA hat and Bro, orange, she's, she's like straight like set tripping out here, bro. Yeah. She's all like dripped in red from head to toe, bro. It's, it's like blood, straight up. Blood ass yeah, Marjorie Green. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this bitch is crazy, dude. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the shit that she talks about? Oh my god, she's insane. He's insufferable. Yeah. <laughs> An innocent young woman who was killed. That's her IQ on the side of that hat. 45. Or we can fix it. I'm ready to fix it. Okay, can we pause it real quick though? Do you know that like he didn't visit the border at all ever and then finally went there and was like, oh, yeah, this is a problem. We need to talk about this. Biden? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was there during Waco, remember? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, there's nothing ever was wrong here that the government did. He testified on behalf of the guy. <laughs> oh, right. uh, I mean, nah. all of this is just a Homie large show. Homie does not of... got the track record. Like, how is he the fucking candidate? I don't understand what's fucking happening no, right I mean, now. I mean, with all of this, like, when... I when... hate everything, dude. Right? This is bullshit. <laughs> this addled old fucking senile old man is the, the fucking candidate. Like, this is ridiculous. Well, also, look at the this fucking... This is fucking absurd. Look at the room they're in. Look at the people they're surrounded in. Yeah. You hear all these cheers and everything. Like, like oh, my God, point? look at these people. 
people behind uh, him. It's like this. Uh, this is the one percent of people who keep this like oppressive this, ass system running. This makes me want to buy a case of Buzz Balls. Uh, yeah, like watching Justin, this. Have you watched Idiocracy? Yes, <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> It's getting there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do, getting there? No, we're they're there. Well, <laughs> idiocracy, they got a full grown, like, WWE wrestler. <laughs> Donald Trump was the motherfucking president. Like, what are you talking getting? Hold there? on. Like, the Rock said he was going to run for president, so we might get. Yeah, see? We're <laughs> getting there. Yeah. But, like, but, if no. we ever have a legit professional wrestler, <laughs> that would be fucking... so cool, though. That would be so cool. <laughs> Bro, I'll we're, blow we're my Jack brains Black out on national Libre TV. On <laughs> like, I'll literally fucking blow my right, brains out that's on the national Rocks TV. platform. Yeah. Just God damn it, it, dude. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? No. Like, every time, uh, like, even when he said some shit where I'm like, I mean, all right, that's a fun thing to say. As soon as Kamala Harris stood up in the background, immediately I went like, man, fuck this bitch. <laughs> Like, every time she stood, it was like, get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I hate her. Yeah, <laughs> she's a smug cunt. Like, well, straight yeah. up. I mean, hold I don't, on, hold I don't on. hate it's any in, act, It's in a like room a full of smug cunts. A room full of very, very rich smug cunts who are all just, like, in a fight with each other. Well, my thing with her, she was a prosecutor for years and prosecuted many people without actually having evidence and oh, just yeah, pushing it through. Person. So she's got, like... Like dozens or hundreds of years of people behind jail for things they didn't do. And Every not this is the shit that leads to cognitive dissonance. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, so I, I can't support someone like that. Yeah. Well, know? I can't support anything of what the fuck is going on in no. this room. Like, it's no, not nothing they're saying is real. No, exactly. <laughs> like, it, it, it's not you're a phony. Yeah, <laughs> you're a big fat phony on, on either side. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're a phony. Yeah, they're all fucking phonies, dude. <laughs> and Fuck when all of them. And when they're sitting there, like, oh, so you don't agree? It's like both of you are making the same amount of fucking money off this stupid bullshit. Like right. both of you just want to continue the money stream coming in, and yeah, you don't want your side gap to lose in politics. Power. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a I mean, good hey, point. Think about it. First lady gets a lot of money uh, uh, income for the household without doing any work. Like the greater yeah. the thigh really? gap, the I greater the pay. Do, do stuff. Oh, I, I know, didn't know, I know the Michelle first lady. Got Who's, paid. What's the name uh, of the fucking they don't chick who does all the do insider trading? Pelosi. Oh, Pelosi. There it is. Yeah. How about that gender wage gap? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Is that gender based or is that just a rich person wage gap? Well, yeah. that's what we're saying. Is like all of them Scales. is that's the, no. yeah. They're making decisions Look, based. It's, it's clear women can be more corrupt than men. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's also very well, clear. Well, they have that, pussy power too. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you got to use all your tools I, in politics, all the tools <laughs> yeah. in the toolbox. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it's an entire room full of people who are and like, all you got to do is stroke. Men's all they're making egos. it, they're just making it harder for like the majority of humanity to live and exist and everything. But they're still sit there and getting to make believe fights with each other yeah. and put on a good show. Which I believe behind the scene, Hillary's more in control than most of these people that you see. Well, you've got she's got <laughs> her fucking hands in everything, right? Yeah, and she's filling people's pockets and has money running through her and a bunch of illegal deals. I mean. You got those emails leaked. Allegedly. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> with heavy proof, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly a shitty person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could never vote for Hillary. Like, no. I, like that was, it wasn't even a possibility. Like, that's. No, I not, was full blown Democrat, <laughs> liberal, like right up until that. I find it hard to they vote. They fucked over Bernie. Yeah. I find it hard to like, vote because on both sides, it's like, well. No. Neither of this is going to be good. So. I vote libertarian. <laughs> yeah. It does. Let's go anarchy. Does, I don't care. <laughs> vote for the piss party. Yeah, I don't well, know. The like, thing at that with, point, like, what's the fucking point of participating? Of piss party, I think that's I what it is. Take a piss. I think it's like a battle of attrition. Like, they're just trying to wear you down and, like, make you feel like you, there's nothing you can fucking do. Like, we're in control. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, they're just trying to wear us down so that, like, uh, any political power that we could possibly have as the you know public as the people yeah right um yeah because look even look at voter turnout like what's the what's voter turnout the percentage na national percentage of voter turnout it's like not even 50 percent like 25 percent or something right so and really... so like and then you break those numbers down Damn. and then you break that down into the fucking the uh the the colleges right so 
this shit is fucking not even determined on the actual like fucking public, you know, the popular vote. It's not. It's all determined with the fucking with the colleges, dude. So it, yeah, only thirty seven percent of the population um, voted in the twenty eighteen, twenty twenty, and twenty twenty two elections. Um, uh, over seventy. Oh yeah, okay, that's not right. But but sixty six percent of the population actually showed up for the twenty twenty presidential election. Why did I just open a search bar? Uh, hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, and that was because they were <laughs> the the invigoration against Trump is what that was. That was they they call it the blue wave, right? Or the invigoration for well, no, Trump. They, that's what they were. They called it. They literally called it the blue wave. Well, it didn't work. Yeah. You know yeah. who all lost? Well, no, in the in the midterm, the midterm was good. Yeah, there was a blue. You know who all Trump. lost money when Trump was no longer around was mainstream media. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, bro, he was juicing so their mad. balls to the core. They're mad that he's not there. They'll, yeah. They yeah. They get like a third the revenue now. <laughs> they had yeah. all the Trump stories. Well, and the funny thing is, is they all blew all their credibility, so nobody gives a yeah. fuck about them right? anymore. They're <laughs> just going AI in, now, anyway. Yeah. They're going like full <laughs> independent now. Yeah, like. This shit was such a fucking joke, dude. Everybody spent everything they had. Like, literally, everybody put their last card on the fucking table on that one. To get Trump... Oh, man, that shit is well, ridiculous. Yeah, and like I said before, no I wasn't integrity. following no politics, integrity. but what annoyed me the most was the anti-Trumpers wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I'm not following this. Like, like, he himself is an entertainer. He knows... If, yeah, if you think, love him or you hate him, as long as you're talking about him, yeah, you're I felt like I was watching him. a bunch He's of people get He's said that tricked. publicly. Yeah. He has said that publicly. Yeah. No, I felt like I was watching a bunch of people get tricked. The more outraged people got, I'm like, what? Are, just fucking let him die in a corner. Like, if yeah, you were just, just saying this shit and you're like, him. fuck that guy, and you just didn't <laughs> think about him ever again, he has no power. But yeah. if you're constantly like, hey, do you, do you also hate this piece of shit? Constantly to other people. <laughs> But you know, it's there's like gonna a be physics some contrarians trick. It's who like are a like social well, <laughs> reaction yeah. that's a physics trick. It's like an equal and opposite reaction, right? Like that's what it was. And everybody's reacting. It was like so reactionary. And they weren't fucking like just stepping away and being logical about it and thinking about it at all. Yeah. They're like, No, my fucking feelings though. Now, there's multiple people who said it in somebody. the news. Like that exact thing. Yeah. Like coming out, but nobody seemed to care. Oh, why did I do that? What color is this? Green? That's what it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes <laughs> like green. Dude, like legit. Come take a sip of this. I love green, though. Come take yeah. a sip. No, like, come take a sip of that. <laughs> do you know who, yeah. uh, the comedian Louis Black? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He uh, had a joke yeah. about Robitussin. He's like, it comes in two flavors, red and green. And it's the only two things that taste like red and green. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no fuss when you're on the No, trust. you can take that one. That's all you. That's all you. Come on. Now, did but, you experience the same thing I did with your thumb on the, on the lip of the drink? Yeah, I was like slipping my hand It's around. awkward, right? See? Yeah. Clearly designed by a woman. Come on, women. Yeah. <laughs> Do better. <laughs> yeah, every time I have to uh, interact with a, with a woman's anything, it's always really weird. My kid, my awkward. hands in the right place. <laughs> <and> like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, how are you going to feel when you have a pussy? I'm not doing that. No? No. Oh. Woo! So you've changed. You've, 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 what, what's. I support the, it. Help us understand what's <laughs> happening because this is news. This Maybe is if news. I get rich. Maybe what? if I get rich. Rich? Maybe. Yeah? Yeah, it's Is this expensive. a guy or money? Huh? No, no. Rich, the guy. <laughs> the guy yeah, so you're not going to let us mold your dick so we can sell your dick to fund your pussy. Get me rich first. It's, we have to mold your dick expensive. in order to sell your dick to make the money. We no, no. Get me mold. rich and then I'll mold it. And then, like, if we if you show that you have the money for it, then we can mold it. And oh, we so we got to buy. We we have to buy it? Wait, how much is it? Uh, it's I don't think it's like 40 Can we do a GoFundMe? 40000 Um... Tailor made pussy, forty thousand. Um, re uh, gender reassignment, bottom surgery. Bottom. Yeah, bottom surgery. Uh, yeah, vaginoplasty is uh ten to thirty thousand dollars, and a a phalloplasty is up to a hundred and fifty k. 
That shit is insane. If you want to get your pussy turned Metroid into a Metroid Plasty? Dick. Metroid Plasty? I Wait, can which get, one are I can you get doing? A Metroid ball. What's uh, a Metroid Plasty? Can we it's look? the direction it's going, not what it's coming from. So vaginoplasty would be going to oh, the okay. vagina, I think. But what's a Metroplasty? I don't know. Meto- Metroidioplasty. Metroid? Metroid? Metroid. Yeah, yeah. You get to become a ball like Metroid and roll around. <laughs> Surgical. I'm MPs down. Let's do it. A general, sometimes meta procedure or bodily surgery. It is an alternative to phalloplasty. Use a tissue from an clitoris to create a penis four to six centimeters long, up to two inches hmm. long. Huh? Can I get a? So it's just an elongated yeah, like, clitoris. Yeah. That. All right. <laughs> this is. Yeah, like that doesn't work. Yeah, that's not. That's, that's not, not a functional it's not anything. Ideal. It's not ideal. Two and a third inches. It's not, not ideal. ideal. <laughs> no, not ideal. <laughs> Listen, okay, but think about it. You can pee out of it. It's still just right? a big you clit. Can pee right? out of At it. two inches, it's <laughs> you know, still if, just if, a if big clit. If you put clit. the urethra in there, then you can you can pee out of it, right? Which is the, which is convenient, right? That's a lot of convenience. So you can stand <laughs> and pee out stand of your pee. two inch yeah. clit. Out of your two inch cock. Yeah. Clint. Well, your little that's clit. That's a clit. It's got a, it's a Clint? urethral in it. Clint. I said Clint. Clint. So Clint in East. Is that what you call it? Clint. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Metroid Clint. <laughs> oh my god. There's got to be some fucked up doctors making a lot of money from this shit. No, there was actually a discussion There's, recently. It was on Joe Rogan. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who it was. I can't remember. They were talking about the therapy versus yeah, the surgery out. and how, like, the doctor. I think doctors- your last name starts with an S. It's like, sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Fuck yeah, dude. That was a Biden <laughs> speech. Yeah, that was. <laughs> What America <laughs> no, summed up in one word. America, America, can you pull that up? America can be that? summed up as one oh, word. One word. <laughs> one word, dude. This is the president of the United Abig- States of America. Abigail Schreier. See, I told Schreier. you sorry with an S. I was right there. Yeah, okay. You were like seeing oh, her signature is. in I your mind. I this would be a good shirt. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him... Uh, put, <laughs> no, that's not the whole thing. You gotta let it go. Uh, oh, dude, there's the the whole thing is so, so hilarious. That can be, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. <laughs> that's a bad like interpretation. That's AI. Yeah, I think that's made is that up. AI? Yeah, that one's made up. <laughs> awesome. The, America can be summed up in one now word. Look up, foothills look up the stack in spaghetti sauce. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. Wait. Traveling with him. I guess we traveled 17,000 miles when I was <laughs> I don't know that for a fact. That hap- that's real. That's the Jesus full. Jesus Christ. I never dude. saw that part. Wouldn't that, wow, that, 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 that's a t shirt. That, that needs to be a t shirt. And then it just says Joe Biden, President yeah. of the United States um, of America. Look up stacking spaghetti, Joe Biden speech. <laughs> just we're just gonna roast the fucking president right now. This is a presidential roast. Oh, here we go. But we really, are. we're just like bullying a fucking an old man, no, an elderly if you're in man. Politics, like you said, like an the gestures of the court, like with they, fucking Alzheimer's. They have to be able to be made fun of. Yeah, and take it. Yeah, no. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done is this it? If you, yeah. If it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to. Uh, oh no! Oh no! He, <laughs> he keeps going. Dude, Keep he letting it go. Keep letting so it go. Go ahead and you stack spaghetti sauce at a store and, 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 and a super. Homie gave up. You control the guy anyway. who runs the runs brings out the carts on on on, on a forklift. What happens? <laughs> they make you management. Everyone in this room is now dumber. <laughs> Dude, I, haven't, I haven't seen this compilation. That sh- <laughs> nah. Oh, he's just, he's he's not just getting anything. dono-walled by Barack Obama in this, in yeah. this yeah. one. Can you find the one of him just walking off into the grass <laughs> yeah. like he needs to find home? Oh, what about the Obama, like the, what yeah, about the Obama right? conspiracy? What's that? That uh, Obama's really the president behind the scenes. 
Well, yeah, but that's because well, no, Big well, Mike is the real president. But Big Mike <laughs> is the real president. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Big Mike is the real president. There we go. Here we go. Wow. Hell yeah. This is my favorite video of El Presidente. Thank you, Mr. Haney. He just starts wandering. He just walks off. He's like, where are we going? This way. <laughs> <laughs> you seen him go off the path? Yeah. No, it's what, yeah. did you just say, I want to go, but I want to go that way? You can go that way if you want. <laughs> I did not <laughs> I notice how much freedom I had. <laughs> yeah. Holy what shit. the I wonder if that's fuck? AI. <laughs> no, but there is one. There's no, a, that makes me wonder if that's AI. There's a different right. one where I he just I did not notice how much path, freedom I had. But yeah, yeah. That, that equally is fucking goofy. Wow. Nah, AI is going to get too real here soon. Yeah, yeah. It's already getting there. Like, yeah, it's like it, almost indistinguishable because they can take anything and then edit it. And it's like the video of the person saying the thing. And it's the words. It's fucking. Yeah. Right. And then it's just stitching between. Yeah. No, it looks realistic. But like the sounds a lot of time. I mean, it may match it, but like how the words are spoken and the yeah. facial expressions together. I don't think it's quite there. But I'm having a hard time. Identifying AI voices now in videos. There's a, a YouTube video, uh, or not a YouTube video, a channel that just recently got made called The Paint Explainer. And it's yeah. a guy who just goes into paint and makes little icons for different things. And then he just sits here for like 10 to 15 minutes and explains all marketing so, you know, strategies, all, uh, um, uh, what is it called? What is a fallacy? All fallacies, you know, uh, logical fallacies in 15 minutes, right? And he sits here and explains them really quickly and succinctly. And it's an AI voice. And I kind of suspected it at first, but then I thought it wasn't for like the longest time. And then I heard yeah. the same voice used for a different video from somebody. Mm. And I was like, mm. oh, no. And it's that one that goes like, like um, vaginal phalloplasty is when, uh, the you know, they, they oh, swap yeah. out the whatever. I know and what you're talking this about. Or this. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's like, wow, it's really It's like the Vsauce voice right. delivering, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like doing like a camera voice, right? Like yeah. on camera. And it's really well delivered and it sounds really accurate. And it kind of is reading hey, the text. Hey, Vsauce Michael here. It must be reading the text and understanding where you're supposed to put the emphasis because it's crazy. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit! I didn't realize for the longest time it was an AI voice. So the biggest that we talked about that a little while back that the biggest breakthrough on the predictive text had to do <laughs> with the context, the emotional context in which the the word was being used. So in order for them to to predict the next word in the in the text or the next character, even they had to have an idea to frame the context. And, and emotion comes into that. And that's what yeah. the Transformers, when the Transformers like put that in, because they were not programmed to do that. They taught, it taught themselves like how to fucking do that. That's yeah. crazy. You think that's, they'd predict if I said penis? Probably. Oh, the okay. likelihood that a penis comes out of your mouth is pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> the likelihood going in. it stays in mine is is even higher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's just when I'm sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst morning breath ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, uh, also, Dude. we. Uh, have covered most like of the an topics, adult pacifier. but we have the bitcoins, <laughs> yeah. the bitcoin <laughs> shit. Metro plastic. You chew on a Metroid pacifier, plasty. by the way. You're supposed to chew on a, me uh, on a on a pacifier, not a penis. And if you get a Metroid plasty, I have I been doing it wrong? No. You supposed I, to chew on it? No. I was asking you. <laughs> like what do you no, that's definitely what I'm don't chew on? <laughs> no, I hey, know, I know. If you're not sucking to chew on, on it, penises, I was please saying, don't chew on. Them. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, was, I was looking for advice. Unless it's by request, of of, unless of it's your... by request, there yeah, is okay. like there is a tolerable like side gnaw. No, nah. like with the molars, nah. if you can fully get. Like when molar. you chew penises? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, no, but being a person with a penis and receiving oh, a, a blow, yeah, yeah. there's a, there, like, You're like, yeah, when I feel it on the back of my molars, I know it's in the right spot. <laughs> no, 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 no. But that's the only tolerable tooth on the, on the, the, the penis that I've experienced. I've had canines to rip a hole. Yeah, in. no, incisors, scraping, biting that way, like with the shit. Nah, I'm not into that. But the side gnawing hmm. on the cock is, is like in the, 
It's and tolerable. The, like, yeah. In no, the lips, yeah. Cheek. Yeah, you know, Sorry. they like, you know, That's you ever word. had anybody like do the <laughs> harmonica, like do the oh, harmonica yeah. thing on your, but then imagine teeth kind of just gently. I never really did the teeth. I don't either, but that's the only acceptable teeth. That's all I'm saying. It's the only yeah, acceptable. Sounds like you did, <laughs> but not the front. That's just not the fucking front teeth, though. Like I've had painful, painful blowjobs are not good. Like I had a j- yeah. Like, did he complain a lot? Scraped yeah. the fucking. She just scraped the fucking oh, and then like like, like an artichoke off of the head. Yeah. No, and then off of the head, like oh. clunk off of the fucking. You know, no, nah, it was not good. It was not no. good at all. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Mm. Chip beef, dude. Like chip beef. That it's reminds me, Bitcoin's at an all-time high. <laughs> <laughs> we did talk about that, did we? we he yeah, said we there is still one thing we didn't talk about. We haven't hit that yet. Topic. Oh, we didn't talk no, about no. Bitcoin. Okay. We haven't done that. We haven't done the Rothschild guy dying and the Palmer oh. Squain. Okay, we talked about that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that can be described in one like word. He just in said we sh- did. Sh- 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 <laughs> Himalayas Abortion. with Xi Jinping. Yeah. 9-11. Yeah, the what the fuck? Dude? I want to sell a t-shirt that just says the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. <laughs> can you yeah. put that in the notes, please? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I love it. America can be described, uh, summed up with one word. The foothills of the Himalayas. <laughs> the <laughs> background <laughs> backdrop is an American flag. Yes. It's an American flag, and it says the foothills of the, sh- the yeah. Himalayas with Xi Jinping. And yeah, I'm just thinking right. also Biden, in like a like vaporwave buddy, buddy. style, like a like an 80s vaporwave style <laughs> yeah. with the foothills of the Himalayas. The Roman statue Amer- bust. Yeah, but... but uh, now, yeah. are him? Are they holding hands, or are they like arm over shoulder buddy buddy? Him and she, you know how in the Star Wars posters, like Darth Vader is in the background, and then like there's a forefront. <laughs> or are they character. are they front saddle I'm thinking and back Gigi, saddle? I'm thinking Gigi Ping's in the front, and Biden's just like the Darth Vader in the background. You got the American flag behind him, and then the foothills of the Himalayas is what Gigi Ping is walking. No, you call them you yeah. call him Gigi Ping. <laughs> That's, so Gigi funny. That's funny, dude. <laughs> Gigi Ping. Yeah, no, but it's it's Biden. On a Harley Davidson, if right our into the horizon with Xi right, Jinping I'm just on the back. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, into the into the horizon with Xi Jinping on the back on a fucking Harley Davidson, nice. <laughs> with the American flag waving. Oh my god! Very nice. Very nice. The foothills of the Himalayas. Yeah, with the foothills of the Himalayas in the background. Oh my god! So, so that was our com- that was our our conversation about Bitcoin, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Next. No, topic. no. But so, what were we? I thought I honestly thought we talked about it because I I was saying that his brother had uh, mentioned that the the arms company. Yeah, not on the podcast. We hadn't talked about mm, it. Okay, I thought you just stepped out to pee, and we had that. We're like talking about. Were it. Were you? I wasn't here. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that like uh, they're able to like buy. Do you remember the company? No, I just text him. Yeah, I haven't, I and so they're able to, to like couldn't find buy it fucking arms so. with Bitcoin. Well, no. Can you just Google look, real quick what weapons company uses my, Bitcoin? My brother John is historically wrong with facts. It's a it's an <laughs> onion. It's an onion article. <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to double check uh, it before. Yeah. <laughs> Just read that first Guardian article. Uh, Guardian. The Guardian. Remember when the Guardian used to mean something? Oh, yeah. I loved the Guardian back Fuck. in the day. Al Jazeera. And even RT was pretty cool. I know. <clears throat> A cryptocurrency firm transferred digital assets worth more than 4.2 mil to a crypto wallet belonging to a member of an alleged Russian arms dealing network. Oh, that's network not what we're talking about. Who was later hit with U.S. sanctions. No, it was like an actual company in the U.S. The deals in like trillion or like billions and billions of arms trades had like a leak that they're going to start using Bitcoin a bunch. But apparently they didn't want that leak. It's amazing how profitable weaponry is. Yeah, trillions a year. We spend we should on start it. selling not flamethrowers, bro. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely start selling not flamethrowers. Yeah, not all no, not flamethrower. Bunch not, of stuff with it. Not a flamethrower. <laughs> not not a flamethrower. Not technically. Yeah, but 
in use. All right. <laughs> Good Bitcoin talk. Mm-hmm. What was next? The uh, Rothschild. No, but died. the whole point of that is that the fucking Bitcoin is up to a historical high. That was the whole yeah. fucking point of the All conversation. Right. And that we that, said it. And that that so invest. And that that's what <laughs> boosted don't. it was that this fucking arm the leak from the arms company was like, oh shit. Well, now we're accepting Bitcoin, so it it caused the fucking purchase of Bitcoin to go up because now people can buy arms with fucking Bitcoin. Like that was the discussion that we right. yeah, that yeah. we had. But ultimately, Bitcoin is up to the what do you say, seventy two? Seventy two, yeah. Seventy two thousand. And um, it's just been going up like crazy. I've I've seen a, a bunch Which of articles wild. about the, remembering it being worth nothing. Yeah, like literally zero point, like ten cents. <laughs> oh, to have a bitcoin! Not that I would have known how to get a bitcoin at that time. Yeah. <laughs> went out at a weird time that's a funny uh bitcoin is a funny term in and of itself though because you can own a fraction of one coin yeah a bit of a coin a bit yeah yeah that's what i'm saying but then like do you know how bytes and bits and all that shit is like break bro- breaks down yeah okay bit like, is a thousand or a thousand bits make a byte a thousand bytes make a kilobyte a thousand yeah, kilobytes yeah, yeah. make a megabyte a yeah, yeah. Megabytes 1024 megabyte. right Huh? Isn't it ten twenty four? Because like base kilobytes? twelve or something. Yeah, like a like a kilobyte, like ten twenty four kilobytes is a is a megabyte, and then ten twenty four that. That's is why you'd get like a hundred and twenty eight. That's just like that, the right? resolution. Well, that's why you right? is that bits? Is it is it tw- eight bits? I think it's Look base it eight. But that's why it's like a hundred and twenty eight gigs, right? That's why it's bi- right. Yeah, it's one and a quarter, so, or it's an eighth. So so eight bytes to a bit. Oh, bytes. Okay. Eight bytes I was to thinking, a bit. So megabytes is a certain amount of it. Yeah. Kilo. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Bits and bytes are different. I it's because eight bits can encode all numbers with, or all characters or whatever. You can. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. But the bits, bytes, and then. Yeah. It, yeah zero should, through 255. Yeah. Yeah. It's one. fucking fascinating, though, because like it became a limiter, right? Because now, like, if you go and get any hard drive right like you could get like a 128 gig but now that that's nothing like gigs are fucking nothing now it's all terabytes mm-hmm. we have a five terabyte drive for the for the show yeah and two one that's terabytes and a two terabyte. fucking wild like i rem- yeah. do you remember when terabytes came out as drives yeah no like i remember when you could get a solid state being fucking- told no one would ever need a terabyte amount of information bro <laughs> I filled that shit up hella quick, like surprisingly quick. I got a a little uh, two terabyte. I think it's oh, like what a, did we have? Like four gigabyte or computers or something? Yeah, like the fifty six k dial up. Well, I even Fuck. had the fourteen four. Then we upgraded the twenty eight eight dial up. So you were back, like you were on computers back back in the day. Yeah. Damn. So I want. That's why I want to have Cody. Yeah, fifty six k. Bro, that's why. So next time Cody comes on, he got on board. Like his grandpa got him a computer, and he went through this whole process of overclocking just to have a video card and like an audio uh, audio card. Like like, yeah, it's fucking wild. Like the shit that we had to do back in the day to like overclock our computers to run. Like shit. Log on to the internet. <laughs> yeah. and then if someone else picked up yeah. the phone. You're off. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, dial I mean, up. Dude, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM in my computer. Uh, RAM. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's RAM. RAM. 64. <laughs> that's yeah, it used to be like, oh, dude, if you had eight, eight, <laughs> eight gigabytes, eight you were balling. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, yeah, no, no that's what you just a memory. Yeah, yeah no, seriously. <laughs> right, right, just of storage, yeah. yeah. Not even of, like, RAM. Of yeah. RAM. Like, people were saying, like, yeah. 10 years ago, like, eight gigabytes of RAM is, like, fine that's all you need for games like what is it now right? ddr what no, or on ddr5 five, five? I, I think ddr yeah. so ddr6 x for graphics cards i don't know if ddr6 exists yet but no this shit's getting crazy and what do they call that principle the it doubles every fucking two years or whatever it's gonna be yeah launched so we're almost a ddr6 it's gonna be launched this year or next year but what do they call that principle of the the doubling of technology, like every oh Moore's law? Moore's law, yeah. No, I feel in we're in a weird life. position though, because like we grew up without phones and stuff, and now there's like adults that haven't 
or that grew up with phones. <laughs> no, I mean, not yeah. only with phones, but with or cell like phones. cell phones. Yeah, and right. With smart smartphones. Phones. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, like you know directions everywhere you go. Like, yeah. As a kid. <laughs> That's yeah. I didn't. I never knew the fuck where I was going. No, when MapQuest <laughs> came out, when MapQuest came out, it was like revolutionary. You'd print out the papers. You could print of out Mac, and like Mac know Quest. where you're going. You yeah. didn't. My parents used MapQuest for far too long, so I still yeah. know. What it like is. they still yeah. use MapQuest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, then they got the Garmin's. Oh, dude. Like, yeah, the four hundred got one of those. The yeah, evolution of fucking the GPS. Yeah. yeah. I have Dude. a GPS on my phone now. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. It's fucking fascinating, dude. Like, you can know where you're at at any given point on the planet. And yeah, so I love GPS. everybody else. It's not based on cell phone tower service. What? GPS based on satellites. Yeah. So even if you're out of service, you can still pull up where you're at on the map, even if you're back country. So we were talking about this. Now oh you're talking God, about Starling. it back country. But did you ever have a GPS when you were back country? No. I mean, <laughs> not not back in the day. I mean, yeah. I'll bring my phone now. Like yeah. Going out climbing or whatever. No, but I was talking about how wild that was. Like, <laughs> homies on the excursions in the fucking Yukon. No technology. Nothing. Not a locator. No, yeah, like, Alaska, no GPS. Yeah. Fucking nothing. <laughs> And what's crazy is nowadays you could play Call of Duty live with people from the middle of the fucking nowhere on that island in what is it the the Sentinelese people oh, could be really? playing fucking yeah they could be playing Black Ops oh, Four yeah, yeah. because of Starlink because Starlink. Starlink yeah yeah, yeah. middle of nowhere you could right. have brought your whole laptop you don't even yeah. have to bring a GPS when you're going hiking you can bring your whole ass laptop bro we gotta talk yeah. about how Discord I, with your mates and tell them to call yeah, you the police. think I had a laptop I was <laughs> living out of my backpack <laughs> that's what I'm saying everything he I was owned. eating off of the top of his lap. Is you could do that now. You bring, yeah. you just, like, text your Discord on your, your. Hey, could you guys like, call the like Forest Service to come get me? I'm lost. Well, you know, it's kind of yeah. funny you say that because I want to make like a super tech, technologically advanced like hiking like backpack and all the wares that go with it. Even like, uh, what was the type of cooking? That you were talking about the other day. Where oh, induction. Yeah, induction cooking. Have you ever like, seen any of this? Like this back is technology induction from the cooking. fucking 30s and 40s. I right? think we have in, no. I think we have induction cooking shit in. No, the, there is kitchen induction in. cooking. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive like, though. But it yeah. shouldn't be. It's super easy. Like it's not. It's it, safe as hell. It is. Yeah. It's the safest. There's and no. And the quickest. It heats well, there, up the there, actual material. Yeah. It, it induces heat in the conductive material. So anything between it doesn't get heated. There's no elements. There's no open flame. There's nothing that's being heated. No to gas. An, no. The actual cooking apparatus that you're cooking in is heating up and heating the material that's inside of it. Like a microwave. Y yeah, it of. is very similar to a microwave. Yes. Yeah. The, and this technology is not new technology. But I, I feel like there's certain technologies that are so efficient that they are withheld from the public because it's you know if you are selling uh electricity or you're selling fuel or gas or whatever the consumption of that product is what you desire most yeah right not the conservation of that product right, right? so like electric cars fuck out of here induction cooking fuck out of here like yeah. anything that's dope like any they've like stifled it as much as they can and now i feel like what what do they call that when it's like the uh the tipping point we're at the tipping point of that, of where te right. technology is like the fucking wave of everything has, has built up so much that they can't resist it anymore. And now all of these fucking, like the banking, I think that's part of it. Like, um, do you know who Jamie Diamond is? Yeah. He's uh -huh. the president of the uh, Federal Reserve. Uh, and he's. Oh, the Federal Reserve now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's funny. Uh, no, but, um, no, but he's behind the TARP Act. Like, he's, he's, you know, yeah, he's he in, was there when all the banks failed and went begging for a bailout. He's the architect of the, <laughs> the TARP Act, uh, if we're really speaking honestly about it. He's the one that drafted yeah, that I'm, shit I'm up. sure. I guarantee you, my, the, or I won't say his name anymore, actually. Someone I'm related to, I'm sure, knows mm, him. <laughs> like, personally. Yeah. <laughs> like, like uh, Hand jobbily. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fucking politics, man. 
Like it, it, it's just one of those things that sucks to fucking care about because then you get involved and then you start doing research and then you fucking learn and then you get emotionally invested and yeah. then it's like, no. fuck, then you care and then you care too much and it's this fucking thing where it's like, this is the thing that's affecting everybody's fucking life. Yep. It's no. crazy. Religion, same. Yeah, dude. It, they're <laughs> intertwined, All right? the same emotions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like fucking theolitics. Then you got these fucking yeah. religious nuts that are trying to fucking put their religious beliefs uh, into... And, and I went through both of them with religion oh and with God, dude. politics. <laughs> yeah, like this country like was founded on the separation of church and state for a reason. Because they understood the corruption of the fucking church in politics. And the fucking hold that it had. And that that's why it's one of the fucking founding tenets of what this country is supposed to fucking be. These I know. motherfuckers believe in a rapture. We Which, can't have the people steering this, the fate of this country when they're like banking on fucking shit going to hell. You can't do that. That doesn't yeah. seem like a fucking Banking good on law. us going to hell. Yeah. Right. yeah. That doesn't seem no. like a good long term solution for anybody. Yeah, like. Meanwhile, the Mormons are trying like to baptize money. everyone that's already dead. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not trying. <laughs> they're doing. <laughs> well, they might be doing the act, but whether or not it's effective, I don't know. Right? Are they actually getting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. What's I the wonder, transfer like, rate? Because you know, there there's a manifestation, right? And I feel there's a bunch of different types of that that's played out. Some actually real, some not. Where you can like think of an idea and create something yeah. out of it. You know, but you can't be like, I have a million dollars and just have a million dollars in your bank account. But I feel there's a lot of people Challenge who do accepted. like the mal manifest. Well, it's not I'm like. think about it really hard and do nothing <laughs> about it. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. Which yeah. the Bible says that knock and it sh shall, or er, ask and you shall receive, knock and it shall be opened. And I feel that's manifestation. In and That's of the itself. formula. The formula of manifestation yeah, in the you Bible. You have to put it out there, and then you have to do the work of that manifestation. Yeah, like you can't just expect it to. Happen. I bet. I guarantee, yeah, I like they're... door to door evangelists and like those, they use that fucking verse. They're like, no, but you gotta knock. That's what yeah. we're doing, and they're just showing up at everyone's door trying to tell. No, them it says it. ask first. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say knock first. Yeah. <laughs> No, but that's what they're doing. They they got the <laughs> they're retarded. That's why they got their own planets. Yeah, the Mormons. Yeah. yeah. No, but they're also like in all the intelligence agencies. <laughs> so they're also the smartest. I yeah. so according to intelligence. Yeah, according to the organization that is ran by them. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> according the, to the organization. But they know the <laughs> most information, I should say. <laughs> but then they're I wonder how much information that they know that they're rejecting because they don't want to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Because they're well, like, I, I guarantee you the higher ups don't give a fuck what's right or wrong and what they're preaching. Yeah. The old man that's touching all the girls tits. Behind no, not the even that guy. Shit. No, I'm talking about everybody. Like, well, you know, maybe it's not even like the head of the church that's necessarily like has all the connects with the CIA and stuff, but like, you know, they have their own secret service and they're all talking to each other. Really, the Mormons have their own secret service that investigate their own people and like follow them. But they're a cult. They're just like, I mean, Scientology. Yeah. And fucking who? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And they're all in the CIA too and the NSA. So it's not like it's too far off for them to be able to. To see who's who and what's what. Interesting. Interesting. Like while they're even in the church. Oh. Huh. Yeah. And, and then that's on the, on like a larger scale and on a smaller scale, like from church to church, they have their own politics. Like just speaking, right. cause I went to a non-denominational church, like a after, uh, you know, everything, uh, and they would have their own security. They would have their own, you know, internal shit as how they're going to run the parking lot, how they're going to seat people like ushers yeah. all in like security and the ushers and how like the whole, whole internal organization worked was like we would have meetings, organizational meetings as a church. Right. And we would talk about the fucking strategies that, you know, how we're supposed to do this. You would you would go through, you know, 
the fucking ropes and you'd yeah. be taught like how to usher people, like how to seat people, right? Like, everything. Yeah. And which, if you which had, every Mormon does that. And but. if you're and if you have special guests, right? Like, oh, they they go up here, and you're supposed to go up and like put them where they go, and it's it's fucking fascinating. Mm. And now this shit carries on into the institutions that are fucking running this this government and that are doing all of the fucking intelligence, intelligence. The, a lot of intelligence <laughs> the mormons are in well i feel for two reasons because they've never done drugs they've never lied they're obedient <laughs> yeah they the usa is number one top god approves it's zion essentially to <laughs> yeah them, it's I'm the married. best of all time we'll defend it with our lives for god yeah. and country yeah america is zion to to the mormons essentially yeah. right they believe so that I've, this is zion National yeah Park? yeah no. well yeah they're there too no but where did you say <laughs> where did you say it is that they believe it, it's in it's kentucky in or kansas north missouri M- north missouri or technically illinois. illinois right where uh joseph smith died was where the original Garden of Eden was supposed to be. Illinois. But that's where they built their second yeah. temple, but that also got burnt down because they had one in uh, New York that was really bad at not getting burnt down, too. Illinois <laughs> sounds like sick and irritated. <laughs> yeah. like Garden Illinois. of Eden, baby. Yeah. That's where it's at. Yeah, no, he got, uh, like, all the mobs would, like, tar and feather him, but... Uh, according to, I forget where I learned this, but, um, it, accordingly they had like a hundred thousand person militia at the time and the U S army was 200,000. And so all the local farmers and people living around thought the Mormons were going to try to overthrow the government. And so they had like all these mobs come and fuck Joseph Smith, up, like tar and feather him and drag him through the streets and like. <laughs> They're like, no, we only want one wife. Fuck that. How are we going to deal with other wives? I can well, only handle one wife. I don't need any more wives. He didn't even tell his first wife that he had other wives till his, like, 14th wife or something like that. Nice. <laughs> By the so way. So it wasn't sister wives. <laughs> no. Like, dude, have you ever seen that, sister wives? No, his first wife was not stoked about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and then they indoctrinated all the women to think that it's a good idea to but have But if you a, had 14 of them, you got to figure at least some of them are cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> you get knocked down like, like I a got, solid five. I got three out of ten. <laughs> have you ever good. seen Sister Wives? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have no, you? But creepy that's fuck. full of fundamentalists, though, but that is actually exactly what Joseph Smith was teaching at the time. Yeah. And so fundamentalist is the exact word of Joseph Smith, but... Mainstream Mormon has changed a lot based on government saying, fuck you. Well, they're saying we're taking this whole state, and it was like five times the state of Utah, and they wanted to name it Deseret. And they're like, and we're keeping our polygamy. Yeah, like, break fuck, that shit down. Fuck you. Break that shit down. Break that Mormon history down, friend dog. Yeah, and so, yeah, they had all of the valleys, like, lying with, like, boulders and traps and shit, and they thought they, they the U.S. Army would only send in a certain amount of people to come and take them out. Well, also, the Mountain Meadows Massacre happened, and that kind of pissed the U.S. government off, which... The fuck's that? Can you pull that up real quick? Yeah, the Mountain, Mountain Meadows, Meadows Massacre? Massacre? Man, that's a fucking... Uh, a mouthful of alliteration. Yeah. Mountain Meadows Massacre. Can we get a little blurb on that real quick? Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec here. I'm... Dude, there no, this are. shit's fucking interesting, though. Yeah. Because I want to <laughs> know how they position themselves to fucking essentially usurp all of the intelligence agencies in the United States. The Mountain Meadows Massacre was a series of attacks during the Utah War. Uh, 1857, that resulted in the mass murder of at least 120 members of the Baker Fancher emigrant uh, wagon train. The massacre occurred in the southern Utah Territory at Mountain Meadows and was perpetrated by settlers from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yeah, Brigham Young's stepson. Yeah, involved with the Utah Territorial Militia, officially called the uh, Nauvoo, is that how you say it? Nauvoo. Nauvoo Legion. 
Oh, uh, we've talked about that before. And we're aided, aided by some Souther, uh, Souther Paiute. Oh, he's taking his jacket off. This shit's getting yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting hot. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. The wagon train was made up of families from, uh, mostly families from Arkansas bound, uh, bound for California, traveling on the old Spanish trail that passed through the territory. Right. But the whole. So were they just trying to get the fuck out? Well, they were uh, traveling from east to west to go find new land. But the rumors that the Mormons heard was a few of them were the people that had. Well, because Joseph Smith was murdered by a mob in Illinois, Navi, where he's buried now, where the RLDS church took over, which is his wife and his son. And then they just do the direct lineage of RLDS is what? It's the reorganized, reorganized. Church of okay. Latter-day and then Saints. FLDS, which fundamentalist, is the fundamentalist, is the exact teachings originally. Okay. But Fucking then, loser dipshits. Yeah. <laughs> no, they still have the multiple wives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Utah. Fucking loser dipshits, dude. That was amazing. Thank you for that. Yeah, I Can like it. Can we get that on a shirt? The FLDS. <laughs> Fucking loser dipshit. Yeah, unless you like 30 wives. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound that bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so then after that, what what happened? So with the Mountain Meadows Massacre, they thought they, 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 thought they were the mob. Well, they had been told that people in that group had been bragging that they were one of the people that had been that murdered Joseph Smith. Which, after Joseph Smith got murdered, Brigham Young took over. He was kind of a military guy, which Joseph Smith wasn't really a military guy. He was more of a... Because he was like 14. No, like not how, at that time. How old was Joseph Smith at the at the point yeah, of... When, the... he was, when he died. I think he was like <coughs> 26 or he something. He was pretty young, though, yeah. because he founded it when he was 14. 38. He was 38. Oh, damn. Just same as Jesus. Uh, That's and, what, was, and he was same 31. Same as Jesus. He was 31 during the <laughs> Did they uh, say that? Massacre, yeah, right? they Jesus did. died at 38 That's and not 33? Did. Or no. So the massacre mind. happened 13 years after he died. Okay. Okay. It was in 57. He died in 44. Okay. So 38. Um, Which. So it was how many years later? I just learned that's 13. the age that I am. Oh, <laughs> you're, the, you're the Mormon equivalent oh, of being 33. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Broseph Smith, 38. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you Hell were yeah. off by like several years? No, just no, one. Just one. Yeah, I was saying oh, I'll be 40 in July. 40, I see. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And my French girlfriend. It'd be amazing if you were off by multiple. Explain years. my yeah. age to me, like one of your French girls. Yeah. Well, she's like, "What are you retarded, Brennan?" How do you say <laughs> retarded though in French? It's, well, it, you don't say that's not how it works. They don't. They don't like the, we use that as a. How would you say what are you retarded? No, that's how she talks though. Right, but and she she's French that in English. Yes, yeah, she... it's an English word. There's no French word for you. That just in the said same it exact way. It's en retard, but that means that actually. Just are blow. you en retard? No, no. If you're like late for work, you say uh, excuse mon pas uh, or uh, excuse. <laughs> I'm retarded. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they yeah, just call like, retarded to work. <laughs> yeah. It means yeah, late. <laughs> That's what I tell my bosses you too. Show when I'm up late. late to work and just like, sorry, I'm retarded. Set my alarm <laughs> clock. I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you guys next time. I'm I'm just gonna to use the site. French. I'm just Sorry, gonna use retarded. the French excuse for being late from here on out. I'm retarded. <laughs> not my fault, I swear. And uh, on that note, oh nous sommes en retard a fini le podcast. All right. uh, yes. No, but there was some more. We didn't cover everything. Well, just yet. the last point I wanted to make. Yeah, yeah with right. the Mountain Meadows, Meadows Massacre, but. Yeah, it was Brigham Young's uh, stepson from one of his 27 wives that <laughs> led the army down there, and they actually convinced the natives down there to dress them as natives and then t- attack them as the natives. Or like Some false flag shit. Yeah, but then... They're the originators! Yeah, then they had the white Mormons come in and be like, oh, we're going to save you from the natives, but then they all had them walk next to every man, woman, and child... And then once they gave them the signal, they just blew their head, brains off. Damn, that's some hardcore treachery, bro. Yeah. But, yeah, the military tried invading 
after that, and they wanted to keep Deseret, which is like five times as big as Utah, and they wanted to keep polygamy. The, the boundaries of Deseret to yeah. see what the fuck that actually looks like. Yeah, that's interesting. So you said it's a five times the size that Utah is now. Yeah, bro, the whole history. C e s e r e t. Uh, would have comprised roughly all the lands between the Sierra Nevada and the Rockies and between the border with Mexico northward to include parts of the Oregon Territory as well as can the you coast pull of up California. The map so we can Mon look at Dieu, look at that. Damn. Yeah, yeah that's what they're trying Native to do. Deseret, yeah. This is uh, That's the know, real deep state shit. No, but the government was like, fuck you. And they sent in their whole they sent in their whole army to him. That's all of Nevada. Yeah. Dude, and, mo- like half of California. Oh, <laughs> like, Colorado. Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. Damn. Jeez. Or <laughs> they're tripping. Ida- Some of Idaho. <laughs> yeah, bro. Damn. Like the Pacific Northwest. One and did they just get put down like dogs? Miles. Yeah. No, they thought the U.S. Army would send way less people uh, to oh, come yeah, attack but them. But they went in full force. We went in full force yeah. on the Mormons. No, the Mormons had all the canyons set up with traps, and they had they were ready for guerrilla warfare for a long time, and they had the belief behind. But when they saw the U.S. Army coming with the amount of troops, they they gave up immediately. They were like, and, "Fuck, we need to join these organizations instead." And then <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need to get to the inside. No, no, like that's the fucking inception of of that shit, guaranteed. Because yeah. Brigham Young is a respected university in this country, right? Like no. Brigham Young is a respected university, but he it's surrendered. He had twenty seven wives. <laughs> it's a Mormon university, like openly yes. Mormon. It's like the only one that I know of. Are there other Mormon universities? Oh yeah. Um, like on the level of Brigham Young, though, like Brigham yeah. Young's the like as no, far that, as I'm concerned, that's the it's the top only tier accept- Mormon one. It's yeah. the only acceptable one. That, but that, they, is they're all over though. But they have like other. Fuck, I can't think of them right now. There's ones in Idaho that are pretty popular Mormon. So oh, really? are all the Mormons at Brigham Young the ages 20 to 24? Because you, when you go to college, you're 18 normally. You start a four-year college if you're, you know, like a But standard. if you do yeah. your two years, no. you have to do your shit. Women uh, go or don't go on their missions unless they decide to oh. or they're not forced to. But what nah, about they are do the missionary. 20 to 24? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have an ish. They don't go on mission. They go on missionary. Yeah, so, no, they, no, they can go in. You can't really do missionary with soaking. It doesn't line up properly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got to have someone jump on the bed for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Any no, soaking? No, I never even knew that was a thing. Oh, because like, you didn't go to Mormon college. Or... <laughs> if you would have gone to Mormon college, though. <laughs> and also, I was in Missouri. Well, which Misery. none of the leaders had intelligence or was there <laughs> any like intelligence based activities oh my there? God. <laughs> Joking so is hilarious. an intelligence based activity. Yeah. No, I'm saying like CIA and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just sounded like you were calling them dumb, though. <laughs> they are retarded. <laughs> yeah. There seems to be no long signs of intelligent yeah. life anymore. Retard. Retard. But, anyways, Un-retard. my last point Man. they shut down all. Polygamy, they made it the size of what it is today, and they made it called Utah after the local natives that called the Utes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wait, Utah is, like, actually formed by Mormons and, like, like design, like, like sized by Mormons? Is that what you're saying? No. The U.S. government, when they came and took them over, because they were trying to make it Deseret, but the U.S. government came and took them over. It was like, nope, you can't do polygamy. You can't name it. Deseret, did you can't they have all this the land. Boundary you of get Utah? Utah. Yes, the government did. Oh. Yeah, the <laughs> government was like, you get, after. like yeah. a fucking Mormon reservation. <laughs> yeah, they're like, like you Utah's get like Utah. a Mormon reservation. No, they were trying to take over though. <laughs> Whoa! Did did they have any of their own uh, any sovereignty like natives do? Mormons? No. Yeah, well, I'm just curious, you know, like, because that's a weird fucking agreement. They're like, no, 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 you can stay in this area. Multiple people, right? That's It's not you have to stay this area. They're like this, like, just I don't know exactly Utah. how. They're like, this is Utah. I honestly, if you stay, like, this fine. is what you can claim. Well, it's pretty much the federal government saying you're not in charge here. We are. Here's the what's going to happen. Yeah, and the only it's, it's the not only like they came back with negotiations. Lake. Yeah, they were just like, fuck it. All they're right. Like, we're going to get murdered if we <laughs> disagree. Yeah. 
So yeah. now our religion's changed. Thanks, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and the coolest parts of Utah looked like they're scorched earth. Dude, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> like it literally does. looks yeah. otherworldly. Because it, like the most Utah is place. forsaken. It's forsaken for sure. Yeah, but it's also not if you know how to live out there. Yeah. But if you don't, you you can only last like a day without water for yeah. sure. No, but it looks like a hellscape. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Legit. It <dude>. is. <laughs> Like, oh, this is homeland. This is New Zion. What do Mormons call it? Zion. They call it Zion yeah. as well. So Mormons are Zionists? Does the word Zion have anything to do with Judaism or Hebrew? Or is it just yeah. a, they do it does? It's yes. not just a word for like an endpoint for a group of people. I think it does, but it's based on I mean, it's like pseudo Judaistic because it's pseudo Christian. Yeah, it was a Hebrew word and it went through Latin and then into old English and now Zion. So it's actually it existed for a hell of a long time, but yeah, um, no, it's definitely from. But the it Bible. is used, like you said, right? But it is Essentially, it a special Jewish faith word. Yeah, yep. interesting. Now the the thing they do with Brig or with the Brigham Young saying is, he said, "This is the place," which Soli, my friend who killed himself, always thought it was hilarious. Like after traveling for like a year, however long they traveled. They stop in the desert, like, yep, this is it. Like, <laughs> after all the mountains and forests and, <laughs> and beautiful, lush greenery, they're like, here we go. Salt Lake City is a weird ass fucking place, dude. But, it's like Singapore. No, they he chose it because it's an inward flowing basin and they knew nobody could sit, take their water supply because it doesn't flow out of a river out of the Great Salt Lake. Like, it all just goes to there. Yeah. Yeah, because it used to be an ocean, and now it's reduced. That's why it's like a salt lake, because it's fucking all cooked down and shit. Because that basin yeah. used to be like a fucking in, an ocean, inland yeah. ocean. Yeah. yeah. It's it's interesting fucking topography through there. Oh, yeah. And if you go... The wildest. It is so fucking strange. And like downtown uh, Utah, ghost town. Salt Lake City. Or, or, yeah, yeah, or salt most lake of City, Utah. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no, but Salt Lake City specifically. <laughs> It's a fucking bizarre, it's like an alien world. You, you go down there after six o'clock at night, there's no cars, nobody walking. Yeah, it's, if it's dark, you don't see a single person, you biz- don't see a single car, you don't see anything. That's how Montana was, too. There's no cigarette butts. Yeah, but it's like, but there's no cigarette it's like butts. a quarter million dollar, or a people city, or however large. There's so no like garbage city. anywhere. There's right. no gum on the sidewalk. Yeah, There's no graffiti, fantastic. or or like, it, it's... Yeah, until you get on the west, go a little too far west, Salt Lake City. <laughs> yeah, no, but like downtown, like the Past main the part... Freeway. It is immaculate. It's yeah. almost like it's staged. You know, like they say, like yeah. uh, North Korea, North Korea type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pyongyang. Yeah. Is it Pyong- Pyongyang? Pyongyang? Yeah, but Pyongyang. Yeah. Salt Lake City though has the least amount of Mormons per capita of any city in in Utah, coming in at fifty percent. Yeah, <laughs> we're pro- it was probably because Provo. they were all like, "Fuck you." Yeah, we're Provo is ninety percent. What Mormon. about what? What about what of that population is former Mormons though? Um, I would say probably a good portion of them because they have a huge yeah, gay like community. percent Yeah, they have a huge gay punk rock and uh heavy metal community there. SLC punk. So it's super anti culture there is the crazy thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was the first place I ever went that you could buy cigarettes in a vending machine. Do that here. i I but that was the first place I ever saw. I was like fourteen years old and uh I, I went to this fucking <laughs> uh it was like a dance or whatever, and they had a fucking pop machine, a candy machine, and a cigarette machine. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? And Missouri, too, when I was a kid. Bullying them. But I think we got to wrap it up. Yeah, we're at the two, two hour hours. mark. Wrap it up, folks. Wrap it up. Yeah. We've made it to the end. If you made it this far, go check out our Patreon. Like I told you at the start, we got merch. Go check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. Do all the things that most yeah. YouTubers all tell you to do. Woo! Drink all of our flasks that yeah. are coming yeah. out. You can like finish our yeah. big balls if you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Yeah. So fuck you. No, go it's support all Taylor. of our shit. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. And in the all right. meantime. We love you guys. Oh, yeah. meantime, and in the meantime. Fuck on and, and fuck off. off. There we go. Nice. <laughs>